claim it. There will be 60 artworks in total presented tonight. The first 50 artworks from Anthony you've seen before. Consider these artworks to be Anthony's re-re-re-re-recap. He'll also have 10 new artworks for sale. There are no price limits on any of the rounds tonight. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hulk, smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notifications so that you never miss any single show on our Comic Art Live channel. You don't want to miss out, do you? To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type the claim in the chat in the following format. Claim two or claim six. You don't need a dealer name. You don't need a dash. You don't need a letter. Just claim in the lot number. That'll work. Since Anthony will always be in the Ragnarok re 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 recap mindset, make fair offers whenever you like. He's ready for them. He's waiting for them. He's willing to accept all fair offers tonight. Since this is the internet, there can be technical <laughs> technical issues when several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time. Your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. After the show, be sure to contact Anthony if you've claimed any of his artworks. Let him know which ones you've claimed. And please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal. Comic book art gonna set our souls, gonna set our souls on fire. Got a whole lot of art that's ready to set our souls. Get those claims up higher. Got one. Ready for your wall so they're not bare. So Viva Dueling Dealers. Viva Dueling Dealers. Viva Viva Dueling Dealers. Hello, Mr. William. Good evening, Anthony. Your your walls look bare tonight. Why is they that? are going to be bare because I am going to fill them up. Ah, you're gonna build up the wall while you yeah, we're gonna present build up your artwork tonight, huh? With the big stuff. So uh, my life? <laughs> we have no coin toss tonight, Rick. There is no need for a coin toss. Oh, uh, come on, heads or tails. No, it's always heads for you, Anthony. <sighs> well, not tonight. <laughs> I love how my wife can't be on time to our big shoe. Yeah, that's all right. So she's getting ready. So, well, uh, so yes, uh, you know, no Ramita man, all Anthony. We've got 60 artworks to look at, 50 that people have seen before. And well, our... most of which, I, I don't know. I, I kind of lost track of what was used on doing dealers and what wasn't. It's probably about, mm, probably about 25 new things actually presented on this show. Right, right. But other things have been on your site before. Well, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But so they're not I'm, new. They're you know, I'm here in this form at this night, this way, this this how to do, you know, if you're a fan of what's your best price, Anthony, this is it. Come on, come on. She's got the money dress and the blue wig. I don't know. I think it's purple. Yeah, it looks Hi. blue on camera. Hi, Sharon, how are you tonight? I'm awesome. How are you? Fantastic. Did you make a cake for us tonight? I had I didn't I did. know. You did? Yeah. So when, when are we going to present that? It oh, ridiculous. it's a pain in the, you know, yeah. I understand. Bad. I kind of failed. And then cake I failed. Tried, and then I failed again. So we'll see. It's in the freezer. I hope it's alive. It needs to set up in the freezer. Yeah. Well, if it's in the freezer, I hope it's not alive. Anthony, we wore the same shirt tonight. I hate to tell you. Oh, I was going to do a We're gag. Like twins. That uh, I was going to do a gag where uh, I had like 20 shirts on and then I took a shirt off every time you claim something and we'll see if we could get down to bare skin. No. I'm glad you didn't come Next up with that. Come on. Next time we'll do yeah, that. That's, that's another late night How show. How many shirts do I have to wear to, to trigger that event? <laughs> You'd have to sell out to trigger that event, Anthony. Come on. Bronze is gold. Yep. Yep. Bronze is gold. Bronze is gold. All right. Well, so we don't have to do a uh, coin flip. You just get to get started and rock and roll us through things. Anyway. <laughs> 
yeah, Margaret, you're absolutely right. Strip dueling dealers, I don't know. Yes, that's I, how I feel that, that was the joke. Thank you, um, Margaret. Thank you for playing Margaret. Mm -hmm. Yes, we haven't seen Margaret for, for a couple weeks, I think. Did I win? I lost. I, I mean, you lost again. <laughs> I'll go put, second. Put the coin go down and uh, okay. step aside. I got All it. right. So I know that in the the first fifty, I mean, maybe the the whole set here, you're going from highest to lowest. So you're starting way way at the top, and yeah. working your way down. That was the other reverse angle replay I wanted to do tonight. So because uh, some high rollers hit me up saying, "Hey, what the you know, like when are you gonna do that?" And, yeah, where is all that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a look at that stuff. So uh, I'm gonna hit them up early, and then they can go. And, I don't know, and, and they can go. Do I get yeah, and so, so you're going to yeah. be in recap mode from from the start, right? You're going to not. Uh, you're going to. You, is that the mindset? I don't. I have no idea. Well, I'm I'm starting out from my highest piece uh, to uh, uh, definitely new uh, stuff that's never been offered, and uh, down to about 500. So you you get a descending order of value instead of an ascending order of value. Got so it. People involved all the way through the end. All the way through it all. Right? Yep. Happy holidays. This is my way of giving back. I'm going to... Who who bid 50K? Huh? CJ uh, was just throwing that, a number around. There isn't even a dollar sign in front of that, so you don't know if that's money or just it's a number. Well, I like Brett's kind of uh, uh, suggestion. Yeah. Anthony <laughs> should have been dressed as Two-Face and been competing with himself. Now that right? Been that's funny. a great idea. Sharon, do my makeup next, real quick. Next time... Uh, Bermuda man's on vacation. You're going to have to do that. There. How's yeah, that? there we go. No, that's not going to work. All right. Well, welcome. Thank you for everybody for being here on this uh, not dueling dealers Wednesday evening. So why don't we just get this thing started? There's, uh, you know, Maureen and Gwen are watching. They're not in the studio tonight. I'm running the show all by myself. So, uh, you know, you never know what's going to. I'll probably be behind a little bit, but you know how it goes. We'll have fun just the same. And I do have some memes. No new memes, but all, all memorable memes from uh, the Snyder Man. We got some new memes for next week, though. We've been shooting some stuff. We've been shooting. Yes, we do. All right. So start, starting way, way, way at the top to kind of set the, set the tone for everything. Here you go, Anthony. Let's yeah, talk ready? about that John Romita senior piece. So this is my favorite piece I own, but I'm putting it out there. I have it up at 220, uh, 50,000, but I will do two and a quarter. So that is uh, my way of uh, putting this out there for $225,000. This is the poster art to Marvel superheroes are here. It was the black light store display. And this poster is rare. It's probably, I mean, a, a good size, a good condition poster is like a thousand fifteen hundred, and a really nice one is like, and it's got Captain America on it. Oh, yeah, it's got everybody on. So you it. can All see right. a shield uh, in the corner. We're covering it with the black light poster. Yeah, that. Well, I do have a black light poster that can go with it if you do. If somebody's interested in working, uh, you know, working something out. Anthony, right. you feel the energy coming off of this. Yeah. And Anthony like, does take time payments on pretty much mo all of it. Yeah, and remember, I, I do take PayPal, and I do uh, do time payments. and uh, But let me know what you want to do uh, if you uh, chime in and want to work out a deal. Energy. There you go. I know that. And everybody, who, everybody who's good friends with Anthony knows how to text him. He, he, it's going to be harder for him to reply because he has no yes, downtime. My work show. phone is out there in the Ethernet. And uh, people try to hit me up. I, I've actually got some hit ups before, and uh, and that's good. Maybe maybe we've got some stuff working already, so that's good. Yeah, you know, free shipping on that one though too, right, Anthony? Is that true, no. or is it, is the insurance is probably too high on it? <laughs> uh, I'd work it out. I'm sure you would. You would probably hand deliver it to anybody who was local. All right, well, let's take a look at one. Ready for your second one? All right, now put we don't on. have a timer tonight, everybody. We're just going to, no, we're kind of winging it. Keep moving on. So yeah. we have the Avengers 32 cover. Uh, this is uh, Don Heck. And this is, uh, a, a, it looks really, 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 really cool in color uh, because it's got a lot of separation. Captain America, Giant Man, Hawk Man, and the Wasp right in there. Yeah. And uh, this is a twice up Marvel cover. 
<laughs> sell it, Sharon. And uh, well, the I will sell this. Serpent. I would sell this tonight for one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred k. Yep. Worth every penny. Yep. So this is. I'm just putting out. You know, this is my holiday special prices that I can do. All right. All right. Well, you want to look at the next one? Are you ready to move on already, Anthony? Uh, yeah. This Don Heck. Yeah, I'm good. All, All right. right. So now this is uh, the Spidey '96 uh, Green Goblin recap page, where it recaps uh, Spidey uh, fighting the Goblin in '39 and '40. Thirty-nine, forty. Was it forty-one? Hmm. Can't remember. All right. So now this one I think is a special. It's a it's a regular size, eleven by seventeen page. Wow. It's from the drug issue, you know, and uh, you know it recaps uh, the uh, Harry Osborne Senior. Now Harry Osborne Junior is the pill popping drug addict in in this storyline, and he becomes the second Goblin. So this is and that. That cover recreation up top is it's just a one of those perfect, perfect panel pages. Uh, I have it at 85. And you know, I, you know, right now, right now, 75. Boom. Whoa. Yep. Dude. So, that is a very nice Let's page. Go. I'll give you that. Bill Kane and Ramita Senior. And yep. Spidey's got perfect eyes, says Prince Namor. He knows a good set of Spidey eyes. That is for sure. Is so what? It, so that's so eight. So wait, we went from eighty-five to seventy-five on your round or lot three. I yep. guess we should just call them lots at this at this point. Yeah, These aren't rounds. Three. That was number three, right? That was number three. So let's take a look at what you brought for number four. I should Little, write this down. Looking over to the Can DC side of things here. Should I write 1966. this down? Nineteen sixty-six. This is two years older than me, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Sikowski, Joe Giella, Justice League of America, number forty-seven cover. Anthony, you had this thing priced at eighty-five thousand dollars, right? And I'll do 75. 75. There you go. Now, this one's special because it's a huge image of Batman. Huge. And it's got all the JLA <laughs> on it. The letters, and the JSA. All these are art. All the roll call uh, headshots are art. So that makes it special. I love that. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, so that's a twice up DC cover. And I would uh, do business on it at seventy-five thousand yep. dollars. Wow! The most amazing death-defying battle ever fought, right mm -hmm. here. All right, let's see. Why don't, why don't we move on to lot five? So that one's seventy-five. Lot yep. five, uh, Murphy Anderson Hawkman cover. Wow, this one I like a lot. Uh, there's been a, a few other Hawkman covers available uh, in my recent memory, but I like this one the best because it's got a gigantic, besides the gorilla ones, I, got a gig, I like the flying gorillas, uh, but this one's got a gigantic image of Hawkman versus the, uh, uh, like the Aztec uh, god guy, giant in the golden mask, I think. So, uh, I love this a lot, but I, I would do 70 on it. Mm, 68. 68. 68 on your lot five, Murphy Anderson. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen that well, one in a while, have you? God bless you. See, you asked for memes tonight. I, I had to dig a few up. I look, I'm going from uh, my high end stuff to my one. low end stuff. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of affordable stuff towards the end. Uh, I'm going in. Uh, He's getting there. He's getting there. Yeah, now we're going, every, let's, let's, every, uh, every round is going to be uh, a little like a lower level. So now this is a Bill Sienkiewicz store cover. I actually had a really nice uh, conversation with Bill at New York Comic Con. Uh, we had had an issue a few years ago, but we uh, we made up, and I feel so much better about life with him in it. Uh, so <laughs> this has got uh, Jane Foster and Sif and uh, and the lovely Sharona. I have it at thirty five. Uh, I was sticky with it when um, when I, I had this on Dueling Dealers. I got an offer. I think like twenty eight. You remember Pepper Pepper Pot Pepper Pop. 
Pepper? Uh, I don't recall. I mean, Pepper I do remember Pot when we had batch. it. What's, what's his name? I'm sorry. Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Cumber Pepper Pot? Yes. Yeah. Thank All you. right. So I'm going to do put this out there for 28 An offer that sounds familiar uh, from back in the day. All right. 20. We could have sold this a few months back, but now you're ready. Now 28 is a good number. That makes sense. Hi, Jeff. Lot Who's six. Jeff? Which Jeff is out there? Right there, Jeff. Oh, uh, Jeff Barilli. Yay. Yeah. My, one of my office managers. Yay, Jeff. It's an inside job. Yay. Indeed. Claim something, Jeff. <laughs> and table, you right? can work it off. <laughs> All right. Lot seven here. All right, John Buscema, so Klaus one. Jansen, Tarzan, number 17 cover. Yeah, this one's great. Uh, uh, John Buscema and Klaus Jansen. I have this one at 20. I can do 17.5. 17.5. Five. 17.5. You did have this one on the show, I recall. Okay, 17, 17.5. All right, 17 and a half. Oh. And lot seven for Mr. Snyder. Anthony, do Lot you have eight here. Nah. Come on, Andy. Look at that back wall's growing. Yeah, the back wall's growing. We want our goal tonight is to try to take something off it. <laughs> All right. So now this one is the uh, John Buscema and Tom Palmer uh, origin page of Red Wolf uh, from the classic issue eighty. Wow. So that's the origin of Red Wolf. Origin page of Red Wolf from his first uh, official appearance. The coming of Red Wolf. So I got this at 18. I can do 15. 15 solid. 15 for the origin of Red Wolf. Are you there? I'm here. I'm, okay, I'm great. I'm, uh, you know, taking notes, making sure I got everything right. So lot eight, you're at 15K, dropped from 18K. Yeah. So already I mean, dropping, Anthony. What your no? Best this is price? my best. This is my best price, Anthony. He's already right like dropping. I'm dropping <laughs> my drawers. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, later, uh, Anthony. All right, lot nine later. here now. Later, if we sell a bunch of stuff. All right, so there'll be a reward. Anyway, so now we have uh, like one of my favorite. Uh, cover artist of all time nick cardi and this batlash cover and i've had this at 15 and i'm gonna i'm gonna take this down to 12 12 now this is these batlash covers are are, are hard to come by there was only uh i think nine i want to say nine so and then i've seen a couple others of them and they're in bat you know not so good uh condition and sharon says She'll she'll throw in million lashes with bat lash because we no, have a million would, dollar a bill lash cover that'd be super collectible very rare yeah, bill lash all right so that is well twelve, 12. That, that is a gorgeous cardi cover so at twelve thousand dollars it's, your... it's a great Back one I was, I was very happy to get it when I got it but I'm offering it out there right now for twelve will he save the West or ruin it yes Good question. Will he save the character or ruin it in the movie? <laughs> you never know. Sticking with that cowboy theme, Kid Colt Outlaw. Now, this is another Warner one Roth. that I, I, I really uh, love and think it's cool. Warner Roth, Inc. by Herb Trimpey. Twice up cowboy cover, Kid Colt Outlaw, 138. I got this at 15. Oh. Mm. Wow. I don't even want to reduce this. I like it so much. Uh, but I'll do 13 on this one. 13. 13 on the big, big twice up, uh, twice up uh, cowboy cover. 13. From 1968. There you go. That's the year I was born. Woo! Wow, you keep hitting great. the year you were born. 54 years old. All, All right. right. So that's a uh, lot 10 at 13K, everybody. Uh, yeah, there you go. X Men and Hulk artist team up says Dino. I was thinking the same thing. You get Werner Roth, who uh, who toiled away at X Men early on, and you get Herb Trimpey, who's uh, well, most well known, of course, for his Hulk art, but uh, plenty of other great Marvel tales as well. Yeah, All and right. you know, Herb was just starting out here, that's why he wasn't uh, penciling yet. And um, you know, he it, it looks really good. I mean, Warner Roth was kind of what I 
kind of call a house artist. I mean, he was kind of generic in that in, in that way. But I mean, uh, Herb made him look good here. Yeah, he kind of uh, ebbed and flowed with the quality of his inking, you know. So, wow. All right, next up, lot eleven. Frank. All right, so this is uh, the Frank Miller Lone Wolf and Cub. This is the. Uh, I, I got into this heavy. Uh, I talked to Frank. He said it was seven, eight years old. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with that because I showed it to Frank and that's what he told me. So this uh, is a big piece of Frank Miller art. Uh, he's probably not going to be able to do those much. And, uh, and uh, I mean, yeah, Daryl's been, uh, I will take the piece on your back. Oh, I'll do the deal. Everybody. All right. Well, uh, uh, Daryl and I have been going back and forth on this piece, and uh, he's upped his cash offer on it to a place where I can accept that. So let's do that deal. Which Darryl, deal are we talking about? On what piece? Uh, Daryl's got Daryl and I have like, we've been going back and forth on it. So he's upped his cash offer on it, and uh, so at, at uh, you can count it at eighteen because he's going to give me two thousand dollars cash and a bunch of trade. Oh, we're talking about the Frank Miller. Yeah, the Frank Miller. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, congrats, yeah. Daryl. That is a that's an awesome piece, man. It really is. Yep. So he's been showing me stuff for trade, and and uh, uh, we were just a couple grand off. So he now put that couple grand in the deal. So let's uh, what's we're gonna do the deal. Hooray. So we're on the board. We, we could, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. Somebody broke the ice. Wait a minute. I did. Did I load a break in the ice? I don't even know if I did. Let's see. Uh, mm, oh. Thanks, Cap, for breaking the ice. There you go. Cap makes an appearance tonight. Congratulations, Daryl. Hey, That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, Daryl. Totally awesome. Thank you. Oh, all right. So moving over to lot 12 now. What do we got for lot 12? Looks like a DPS. I got it like, I got it like uh, Well, speaking of Cap, we've got a Steve Epting DPS here uh, from Cap 6, pages 20 and 21. And you've got this one priced at $10,000, Anthony. Yep. Look at I it. do have it priced at ten thousand. It's the DPS from uh, historical, 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 historical issue number six. The first appearance of the Winter Soldier DPS. And look at that! That's Sharon all bound up and crying like a romance comic. Oh, Sharon, don't cry. I'm on a rooftop. All right, so. Yeah, let's uh, let's get it down to uh, eight. All eight, right. great. Eight is. I know great. our friend uh, Alberta. Sure, you're like Vanna White tonight. If you could only be turning letters around behind Anthony. She doesn't even <laughs> turn the letters anymore. She just touches them and they light up. Uh, I don't watch. They TV cut her anymore. job in half. All she does is walk back and forth. That oh, stupid she's, she's earned it if she's been doing it that long. 30 years. I agree. I agree. Vanna White is the bomb. She's amazing. I love oh, her. I agree. All right. So Anthony's Lot 12 by Steve Epting. Uh, the DPS is at $8,000. So let's take a look at. Yeah, that's a good. I think that's a really good number on that. That's like two, you know, uh, semi splashes from uh, issue six. That's nice. Cap facing forward uh, uh, mostly. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> and yes, we watch the Wheel of Fortune. I watch it with my wife because I can't spell. She's a good speller. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm just giving some love to my rep artist Esad. Uh, this is at twelve grand. Uh, I can't. I, I can't do much better on this. This is a rep piece, but this is large art homage to uh, Tales of Suspense thirty nine with a great. Uh, detailed look at uh, uh, a very modern Iron Man costume. And that's painted art. Whoa. That is a doozy. This is kind of fashion-y. I love it. What is what it? Are you, going are, you, are you interested in the DPS, Alberto? He's he kind said of he was thinking about ruining his kid's Christmas. So, yeah. 
<laughs> but anyway, but but what's your price on this one? I'll Anthony? tell you what. I mean, if you need Christmas money, Alberto, how about four now and four in January? Oh, yeah, how about that? To think Give about. me a down payment. Uh, I can't even spell claimy. I made up that word, Mr. Red Jack. That's a made up word. So I didn't have to. <laughs> All right. I can only do about uh, 11 on this. 10, 5, 10, 5. 10, 5. 10, 5. So uh, on, the, on the cap, how about this, Alberto? I'll do three monthly payments of 2,500. I'll take you down to 7,500 on it, and you got three monthly payments. All right. All right. Well, that offers out there. So uh, the the artwork on screen, though, by Assad, you've got priced at ten thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, ten five is uh, lowest on that. So that's the uh, DPS, very wall capable DPS from issue six, uh, and the whole storyline of the Winter Soldier. All right, keeping up with the side one last time, or maybe maybe not the last time, but this is lot 14 from uh, the Uncanny X Force number nine painted cover. Right, this is a vintage cover. I actually um, uh, sold this a while ago and got this back in a deal. I bought this back because I love this stuff and I love this era of his uh, his uh, his uh, cover painting. I mean, that's just amazing. Look at that. I can do 7,500. 7,500. 7, because <laughs> stereo sound. Stereo that. Mm, stereo sound. Okay, so 75 because, uh, like I said, this is one I, I sold a long time for Esod, but I took it back in a deal and, because I like having them. And, you know, I should be good They're at selling beautiful. them. beautiful, yeah. I should be good at selling them now, right? Well, you sold it once. You should be able to yeah. sell it again. So totally seventy five hundred. Gorgeous, totally gorgeous. I agree. All right, so you're at seventy five hundred on lot fourteen. Let us yep. see. Next up, we. Oh, got... I don't have any bricks, but I got rebix. <laughs> rebricks. Oh, somebody here just Marcus Y. Lots and lots of rebricks. Yep. Oh. There you go. There's your bricks. Yay, now I didn't say anything about sexy fiend biz dot biz, sexy find. Oh, sexy find. Dot yeah, biz. you haven't said anything yet, but you know, don't worry. They they've been coming in early. I don't know why. It, it just is what it is anymore. Maybe the mention of Vanna. There you go, Vanna. That's what did it. We can't mention Vanna on the show ever again. Uh, all right, uh, let's go on to lot fifteen. What do we got here? There it is. Nick Cardi again. But that's not the right image. What is that? It's not the right image. So, okay, so look, I got the Super Bowl. How is that so wrong? I love these. <laughs> I collected these when I was a kid. I had these. <laughs> it's so wrong. What? I'm, so I'm wrong? Sorry, the image is just so wrong. Lot 15. Somebody in the production staff will fix that one. But go ahead, talk about it. Tell me. This one you had at $12,000. All right, this is Super Baby. No, Super <laughs> Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Super Baby's big race, and he's he like uh, smashed baby. that open wheel racer. And I again, I love Nick Cardi, and it's a really nice. You cannot baby. lie. I'm writing Super Baby down because I think that's going to be a meme we can we can mine at some point. What it says: Super, baby. Super Baby's big race for a mini. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> I have one of these that I'll never sell. It's a it's a really uh, it's the Tarzan one. All right, so you had this one at twelve thousand. So Nick Cardi, Superboy, one ninety eight cover from nineteen seventy three. Yeah. What is your best price on this one, Anthony? Well, we could do ten. You could do ten. Yeah, let's go, Sharon. Woo, ten. Where are we at with the Captain America pages? Are we close on those? The DPS. There's been no talk about that since your offer. Okay. Uh, Let's keep this thing rolling, though. Okay, so 10K on that Superboy cover. And yep. that was lot 15. What do we got next? Lot 16. Where are we here? Rolling in the deep. Hey, and there is a slide in here for it. I have no idea why. There's a better image for everybody. Okay, there's a better a image. second slide. Here's another 20-cent Cardi cover. And this one's really cool. It's got Dr. Fate on it that was just featured in the movie. 
that James Bond guy was Dr. Fate. <laughs> that golden eye James Bond. And he got Vigilante and Hawkman and Hawk Girl in Golden Age uh, garb. Golden when Age is versions. this from? That's amazing. This is uh, like 74, 73, 74. Oh, 72. 72. Oh, oh, right 72. on screen. Oh, that's right. Uh, well, DC was uh, 20 cents a little before Marvel. So, uh, but my most of my uh, references are the Marvel. So, I can do 10 on this one as well. All right. 10K on your slot 16, Nick Cardi. Wanted. Wanted. Cover. You know you wanted. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, we had Hawkman in the movie, and we had uh, uh, Dr. Fate in the same movie, and Vigilante was fit, featured a lot in Justice League Unlimited, uh, which is a show I, I still love. I'm, I'm re-watching Justice League, the first series. It's awesome. I haven't seen them. You have never seen Justice League and Justice League Unlimited? No. Oh, my God. You're missing You'll something. love it. Okay. It's, it's something. I'll put it down on my list. All right, moving on to lot seven. It's on HBO Max. All right, so Superman Family, DC. This is a really nice Kurt Schaffenberger. Uh, the uh, side side panels have been – there's art underneath these side panels. They were kind of moved around a little bit. But a Kurt Schaffenberger, look, my engagement ring. Superman finally wants to marry me, but I can never – let him see how I've changed. Oh Look no, Sharon. Oh no, what happened? She Lois becomes a bionic girl. When I haven't slept. <laughs> you don't want to bring her home to mother. But uh, what is your best price on this one, Anthony? Mm. What are you thinking? 7000 Really? 7000 Let's go. All right, seven thousand dollars on this uh, Schaffenberger Superman family cover from '76. Amazing. Yep, and Lois turned into a bionic woman, bionic girl. And these side, these side panels. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they they just got moved over a little bit. There is art underneath. Uh, there's not enough of play in the in the the side ones. To that, those are probably stats. I'm gonna go back. There is art underneath uh, these ones. So yeah, you got a full cover art. There will be a cake break today, everybody. We don't. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, when, I told when we were going to do it, but we are going to do one. Yeah, I um, don't know when. I need to go check on the cake. No, you don't. And Josh, I did no. watch the first season of Doom Patrol. So, uh, and I did like it. I just never watched. The, what is it? They, they're done with three seasons now. I think I, I've got a little bit of catching up to do. Okay. Oh yeah, here we wow, go. What? This, one, this one's rare. HTF. Uh, Human Torch, number 36 by Carl Burgos and Dick Ayers. Wow. It looks like Golden Age Human Torch art because it is. Well, wow. and then, like, I'm just noticing, like, the back. Yeah, it's on heavy 80-weight board. Uh, so. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy that, cool. 80-weight board. And you actually have, you know, two full panels of Flamed On and then and then uh, the torch and uh, and Toro. Uh, this this panel of Toro right here looks like it's uh, an overlay, some kind of stat. He had been moved over, but other than that, it's in uh, you know really nice condition. Uh, whiteout was used for effect in their flaming from 1954. Yep, 1954. So this is hard to find. H T F, Golden Age Timely Art. Incredible. And I can do 8,500 on it. All right. So you're at 95, going to 8,500 on your lot 18 artwork. Uh, very nice. Very old. Wow. So uh, let's switch over to lot 19 now. We've got a Jim Starlin, Claus Jansen, Tomb of Dracula unpublished cover. Yeah. Uh, slightly. Yeah, this, yeah, this one I don't. It, it, they just moved the girl from one side to the next. It's pretty much, you know, the same thing. They're, they're in the flames, and they moved her over. And The tomb of Dracula. I mean, but as far as, like, you know, this is a big piece of Starlin art from 1974. Uh, pretty incredible. When I was 10, 
Flamey and Clamey. Yep. All right. So let's do 65 on this big piece of Starlin art. I mean, that's, I mean, if this was a commission from 1974, it'd be well worth it. Much less, uh, you know, nearly unpublished cover. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's unpublished. And let's see. What did I say? 65? Let's do 62.50. All right. 62.50 on lot 19. You're Jim Starlin, unpublished. With Claus Jansen Inks on it, no less. Hmm? With yeah. Jansen Inks, no less. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Looking at lot 20 next here. I think I've seen this one before. This was that Mike Magnola playing card art. Oh, well. <gasps> this this is, is so cool. Um. Uh, Actually, I got this from Mike a few years ago and then bought it back. I sold it and bought it back. This is the original art to his COA, the Art of Mike Magnola Certificate of Authenticity. So this is the art to his COA. And uh, uh, he loves this this image of the, uh, the skeleton with the cards. He's been doing them a lot for his charity auctions uh, uh, lately. He's putting them out. Yeah, that's, that's a really nice one. I remember. I think. I think you had this one on that special uh, show that you did with Mike's art, right? Oh, that that's was... right. Yeah, I did sell it on that show, uh, but I did a deal for it back. I like. Uh, I like it a lot. I had it framed. Anthony, you know, framed. Anthony, you know when you sell something, you're supposed to just sell something else next time, not buy it back and sell it again. He loves the art, though. Come on, everybody I, I, gets that. Uh, sometimes I, you know, I having been a former serious poker player i i just like this image with the the skeleton dealing out aces it's like it, i like uh gambling and playing card art <clears throat> I understand. Like royal flush yeah. gang stuff like that uh, mm -hmm. you know i was born in vegas you know, coin so. flips yeah i know i know so what is your best price on this one anthony 6500 6500 on your lot number 20. Uh, yeah, there was a special Magnolia show. It was probably about seven, eight months ago, I think. It was in the spring. Yeah, he was at the Mocha show, and I went and we did a, uh, a, a nice... Did an, uh, yeah, you did an interview with him, and then we you had about a dozen pieces of art to sell. And he and I bought some stuff from him, and uh, I put in some stuff that I had had in my... Uh, this I had on the wall, yeah, but uh, it fell off the wall and broke the frame. That's why it's still on the mat, not the frame. <laughs> it was on a Saturday. Born on a Monday. Mm. Mm. Moving on to lot 21, everybody. What, what do we got here? Uh, Kevin Eastman, Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles cover. Sharon's going to be mad at me. I'm trying to sell this one, but she loves this one. I do. Ninja Turtles, colors. 131, variant cover, uh, a, a montage of shredded... He shredded it's uh, like where are they and you can find you can look at this forever and find new things in it every day of your life they're hiding in there yeah this is a really special piece by kevin i think he really stretched his art artis artismo and uh yep i'll okay. do i mean they're 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 there like you can just yeah how about uh 65 hun i love this Great. 65 hun. 65. I'm going to write that down as 6.5 hun. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a beauty. Yeah, so, you're not getting deals like that on uh, Comic Link. All right. Well, it is, uh, yeah, it is the what it is. The prices are actually going down. Yes, of, they are. Uh, all right, so that was lot 21 at 6.5K. We had lot 22. What do we got here? John Ramirez here. Everybody, Marcus? everybody should want your hair. It's Marcus, so you soft. want a lock? No, we don't. We still I mean, have locks no. of hair available. I'm gonna pet it. No, <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, not the best time shaving my head. Look, I did. Mm. That was really fun. Look, I'm kind of good. How's my like, hair, Bill? Playing with my. Uh, it's better bald. Accidentally, take it all off. Their hair off. I'm talking about your hair, Anthony. I grew it back to do those new memes. Mm -hmm. Got to use them. Yeah, keep them a secret. Don't say anything. All right. Next up, lot twenty-two. This John Ramita Jr. Venom One variant, pencil art only, of course, from twenty twenty-one. Just one year old, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony had this one originally priced at seventy-five hundred dollars. Anthony, what is your best price? 
Look at this. I'm going to do $6,000. John Ramita. Junior. Junior. All right. This is the art. This is the pencil art. <laughs> do the number one cover of the Venom for six k. Don't we have a Venom fanatic on this on this board? Six k. I like that hair today, goon tomorrow. I love that too. Marcus said he'll manscape and trade you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. In Black Viper of Thorn, hmm, was this analog inked? Yeah, I would, yeah. I would assume so. Venom, Venom. I don't know. I don't know that there's a ink version. You need to go back and see, but it is the cover. No, have to ask definitely. That. I mean, it's the pencil art to the cover, and yeah. I don't know whether they uh, went from the pencils or not. I would have to figure that out. All righty. So uh, six thousand best price yeah, on this six. one. All right. So six thousand on lot twenty two. Next up, lot 23. I think we just recently saw this one. That was that uh, Superman's Girlfriend Lois, issue 99. Yep. Issue 99, Lois. page 1. Lois Lane. Lois Lane. Guilty? Maybe she is. I don't think Is so. she guilty of murdering Lana Lang? Oh, my God. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> and then there's be? Kissy Kissy's Super Kiss, the Lips of Steel. Superman and Lois. Lois is in prison. All right, so I got good. this at 12. I can do 9,500. 9,500. What? Yeah, I'm trying to get some deals done. Put it out there. 9,500. How cute. All right, 9,500. Das balloons are fine. What? <laughs> Superman playa. You got that right, Dino. All right, so lot 23 priced at $9,500. Let's take a look. Yeah, I like this because it was like all about the romance and then the murder mystery. And, and Superman. And true crime. And it and wasn't Lois Lane. It wasn't the husband getting killed. That's what I liked about it. How many is on that one. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, next up, lot 24. All right, this is the John Bissell Wolverine Buddy Choices. It's got uh, Wolverine in every panel, smoking a cigar. So I was going to break out a cigar for Wolvie, and we were going to smoke together. Who wants to smoke a cigar? All right, come on. I always feel like you, if you, I If you I make my goal man. tonight, if I make my goal, which I will not reveal until I make it, I will smoke a cigar with you. Now, uh, I'm we ready. A, a hmm? cigar on our wedding day. Did we? Yeah. Did you get? Is that why you got sick? And then every time, <laughs> no. Every time we did our taxes. Now uh, we don't yeah. smoke. Yeah. But. And it seems like I'm always doing my taxes. All right. <laughs> so, bloody choices, page eleven. What is your best price, Anthony? Fifty-five hundred dollars. Woo! Five hundred. Let's go. That Woo. is some deep discount in there. Uh, all right. So from seventy five hundred to fifty five hundred on lot twenty four, the this John is John Bissema. big discount. Wolverine this twice John up. Bissema, all John Bissema, John Bissema, pencils and inks, oversized board. Not a junior. oversized. Yeah, measure that, Sharon. Okay. All right. Well, that is a nice page there, Anthony. Definitely, and definitely this. is. Remember, guys, I'm, we're not. Are we doing a recap? Recap? How many hands? No. Twenty. Are we going to go back through the stuff at all? I don't know. It depends on how I much time we have. The longer right. we take, the longer we, the more I guarantee you we won't. Okay. All right. So that was lot twenty-four. Twenty Price to sell at fifty-five hundred dollars. Dino said so too, so you know that's true. And it is a good price. We watch. We watch. All right, market. Dino. Come on. Come on, Dino. Next up. Jump next off. Up, lot twenty-five. Salby Selma, Al Milgram. Journey into Mystery splash page. No, not a Philly blunt, CJ. This is this is quality uh, tobacco. All right, so um, Arturo Fuentes, <laughs> are not, you know, as the bottom and up. All right, so now uh, Salva Sim and Al Milgram, Journey into Mystery. This has the, all of Asgard on it. Really cool. I would do five even on this. Five even. High five. Boom. Got it. 
Five even down from sixty five hundred dollars. All right. Look at all those. These are my holiday specials, oh. guys. Get them while they getting this you need, good. You need some Christmas oh, lights in the background, Anthony. Time. Fake snow. That would have been that would have been good. You got any of that any of that in the house? Actually, we were working on a fake snow design today. That's funny you mentioned that. Well, there you go. I think you need to make that happen. It was on custom ink. All right. Well, this one's at 5,000. Next up, what do we got here? A Phantom Stranger cover. I got Louis Dominguez Phantom Stranger cover. I got it at 5,500. I will do 4,500. And that's about, and it's got this in this issue, the spawn of Frankenstein. Oh, my goodness. So you got this Pied Piper demon under oh, the bridge. they're walking. And they're oh. walking to their doom. And Phantom Stranger is like, you know, floating above them in his astral form. 45? 45. Hun? All right. Hun. Yep. Okay. 45 <laughs> Hun on lot 26. Let's see what lot 27 brings to us. And then we got this all Akala Conan. Wow, <gasps> so, Conan, Conan Saga, Saga 91 pinup published in 1994, 1994. at $5,000. Whoa, whoa, I'll do 45 on this one. <laughs> 45 on this is all a cala all the time, guys. What size is it? All the time, it's about uh 12 by 18. Anthony, what is the size of your artwork? Um, Uh, 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 one and a half by two hand cans. 11 by 17. Oh, it's 11 by 17. I thought it was a little uh, uh, bigger. bigger. Yeah, because, uh, but it's edge to edge art. That's why. Yeah, it, it the art a, looks huge on there. So it does. 45. Huge. All right, so forty five hundred dollars. Good deal for that. That's that's Lot crazy 27. good deal. I've sold that Cala Basema pages for five grand and up. So yeah, Conan and all a Cala, exactly. all a Cala splash pinup. Forty five. Right. Next up, Lot twenty eight. Wow, another Alcala Swamp Thing villain. Villains. Yeah, yeah this one. Yeah. This one is uh, merchandise art from from. Uh, the Swamp Thing board game. Wow. So you got a little Swamp Thing there. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And then you got all the bad guys they used in the Swamp Thing board game. That's so fun. So this is definitely published merchandise art uh, by a cow. It's a totally different deal this came in. And uh, these guys, the Squirter and stuff like that, I think they were actually. Um, I love Squirter. I think they were actually uh, <laughs> uh, action figure design uh, art too. These these guys were action figures because they made a they made some action figures of them. That's really cool. All right, so this is at three thousand. I could do twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, hun. Two thousand five hundred dollars for the uh, Alcala Swamp Thing. I like the mushrooms. Art. Uh, what do we got? So this is lot 28. Next up, what do we got for 29? And Frank Robert Johnson. Yeah, we're showing, this is like the re, 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 recap and then some new stuff at the end. So uh, let's see, lot 29 is next. This was that uh, Mike Mignola BPRD yeah. cover. Part of the deal of this show, Frank, is that I'm offering stuff at my absolute bottom best prices. So that's what we're doing here. It's not all just new stuff. I'm getting to some new stuff that's absolutely brand new. Now, this is a BRPD cover, and I've had this at – oh, Sharon loves this one, too. BPRD. It's Fear of the Monsters. Uh, Mike Mignola. I would frame this <clears throat> right now. All right. Well, frame it with the – Merry Christmas to me. You know what? Why don't you frame that with the uh, the skeleton card player guy, and we'll – Merry Christmas. <laughs> I love this. All right. If it makes it past this show, then you can frame it. Okay. But it's okay if someone wants it. I can, I mean, we have no room on our walls. <laughs> we can make room for the Mignola. I All right, so uh, I can do 65 on this one. 65. The praying mantis is just saying, look at me. I'm awesome. Yep, just looking look for something me. to eat. Look at me. Well, he's got bloody claws, and then he's going to get flamethrowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so All right, 65, 65, 65, 500 on lot 29. We're almost halfway through. One more lot, and we'll be halfway through. All right, do you want to do a cake break at that? Uh, sure, we can go do it. Go get that cake, Look, Sharon. Sharon. Now, this one, my running joke with this one is... I'm going to run away right now and go check out my cake. It's All right. Sharon running yeah, away from are... my, uh, you know, marital appetites. <laughs> doesn't happen okay all right so this is uh who is it it's uh snow white snow white fairest uh, uh 26 cover 2014 now she's got a pearl necklace on yep yep i bought, I bought like Ferris that pearl necklace, pearl necklace. At Tiffany's. all right so that's an adam hughes cover to fairest Looks great in person. Uh, it kind of fell too deep in the uh, printing. <laughs> yes, they did kind of uh, yeah, it doesn't bleach her out, basically, there. So what's your best price on this one, Anthony? Uh, 65 Yeah? $6,500, $6, Anthony's best price on lot 30. We, are, we have now reached the halfway point. Where's Sharon with that uh, cake? Well, let's just keep going until she oh, gets Oh, we're going to keep it going. Well, all right, all right. Next up, lot 31. Whenever you Joe, get back. Joe Kubert. All right, now this is a Joe, very strange Joe Kubert cover. I don't know. It's got like a dude, a clown, and a monkey. I don't know. Uh, like, I don't know, different phases of life a man goes through. Sometimes he's a man, sometimes he's a clown, and sometimes he's a monkey playing a flute. I don't know. So uh, this one I got down, I can get down to like 4,200 for a Joe Cooper cover. Wow, 4,200. All right, $4,200 on Trilogy of the Crown story entitled uh that was the cubert ghost cover so next up hey another cubert here for a lot 32 yeah this one um Andy. this one's kind of special this is uh from what i understand was the first last um the last job that uh either of the brothers did with their dad the night out uh before watchman series with the dominatrix girl going on and rorschach and the owl and all that stuff so uh and this this character kind of had a mind of its uh and life of its own a lot of cosplayers uh kind of took to her i can do 38 on this one 38 with the big half panel nudity of of uh, joe what might have been joe kruvitz last published job 30 yep yep with a paddle. All right. So this is lot 32, $3,800 before Watchmen Night Owl. So let's go take a look. That's at hard it. to get because I don't think they're parting with it. I think they, they parted with a few pages, but not, not uh, many more. Hard to find stuff. Switching over to Jack Kirby. No paddles what? in this one. No what? No paddles. No paddles. No dominatrix. Yes. All right. So now this one... Uh, the story behind this one it was is that Jack, one of Jack's uh, children, was doing uh, staging a play of Julius Caesar and asked uh, their dad to design the costumes for the stage play. So this was uh, his design, costume designs for a Julius Caesar staging, uh, or for staging Julius Caesar costume design art for, and that's got ten figures that he did, you know, the pencil, ink, and coloring. So this is all Jack Kirby art. It's got a couple swatches in there. And uh, this came from, uh, uh, you know, his personal stuff. So and what's your best price on this one? This one is about 14 by 20. So it's pretty big. And considering, you know, with the, all those, uh, all those, um, you know, cartoon stuff is going for. I think this is really cool. Uh, I'll do four grand on it. All right. 4K on the Jack Kirby costume design set. Yep. 
Not too bad. This is lot 33 at $4,000. And the re, re, re. I don't think we've seen this one on the show before. I know it's been on your site before, but so it's hard to call it a recap, but we'll call it a re-recap anyway. Well, yeah, I was just, you know, when I was going through, I kind of lost track of the fact that, oh, have I used this on the show and let's, let's just do it again. I was uh, putting out stuff that I thought would get some response. So this is from the mini series Kong of Skull Island from the movie. Uh, and it's by Felipe Massafera. And this is King Kong Skull Island, number one painted cover. And I'll do 55 on it. 55. And that is one heck of a cover. Beautiful. 2016. So it's eight years old. 55. If you like big apes, that is the piece for you. I love King Kong. All right. 5,500 on lot. 34. My first date was to the first King Kong, the 77 King Kong movie. It was 13. Very nice. Very, yeah. very nice. That, I was, still a big, that, that was a big deal when that came out. It was huge. Uh, yeah. So here's lot 35, Frank Robbins. All right. This Frank Robbins. Uh, this is, uh, I, I sold a couple of the uh, panel pages. Uh, I still have this splash. It's all Frank Robbins. And I'm going to do. 3,200 on it. 3,200. Wow. So from the Frank Robbins splash from the Batman anti-drug story that was, they never, never hit the stands with this one. You know what? I'll do three, three even on it. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, three evens. Good price. I love the way the lettering's done there at the bottom. Well, I got over three on uh, better Batman pages. So for the spy, I'll do three. Okay. What's your favorite scene with Jessica Lang? Mm. All right. $3,000 on lot 35. Next up, lot 36 is a piece by Terry, Terry and Rachel Dodson. Look at that. Yeah, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, it's got uh, Queen of Hearts, I think uh, her name was. Queen of Hearts. Doing a little puppeteering there. Yeah. And uh, with Black Canary. Bunch of figures. Lobo. Nice oversized art. I'll do 3500 on this. 3500 Yeah, that is a nice cover. So $3,500 on lot 36 by yep, Terry and Rachel. 35. Always love their work. All right. Let's All right. see. Next up, lot 37, Frank Cho. Yeah, Frank Cho, giant size man thing here we got. Uh, this, you know, Frank is just what I consider a modern master. And, you know, his, his line work. He said on a post that it's a good thing I suck at. I mean, he said I'm the only Asian guy that sucks at digital stuff. So now I, I, I I'll have to draw forever. And I'm like, well, lucky us that we have this kind of quality art uh, to have and to own. That he won't ever go digital because everything's by hand. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes, that's what I. No, it's it's, uh, it's gorgeous. So, what's your best price on this one, Anthony? Uh, I can do three on this. Three even. So, from four thousand down to three thousand, you've got this thing listed at thirteen by seventeen inches. Yep, it's on a oversized board. All right, lot, lot thirty-seven at three thousand dollars. Next up, what do we got? Oh, it's Alex Raymond Rip Kirby Daily. 1956. Are you yeah. kidding? Me? I got one with you on it. I got the Sharona on it in that panel. Look at that pretty Sharona in that panel. Uh, let's see. I could do 32 on this one. It's very, very nice. I love it. 32. And 
that's good value on Alex Raymond. 32. It is. All right. Now you don't have a that's not like a custom bag for that, right? You just kind of fold it over another bag. Uh, no, you want to see it raw? I mean no. <laughs> I never no, thought you'd ask. Bag. I that, had to... Well, that's what I was curious about. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Don't let Anthony play with saran wrap. Yeah, this bag is not a toy. Yeah, that is very nice. Look at the beautiful awesome. Sharon in there. Sharon, you're in this one. Love Alex Raymond. All right, so thirty-two hundred dollars on lot thirty-eight. All right, anybody uh, you know have interest, jump in there. Yep. Next up, we got lot thirty-nine. A little bit of Sal Buscema Rom art from issue fourteen. It's the uh, end page, of course. You had this one priced at three thousand dollars, Anthony. Yep, I do 25 on this. 25. Uh, yeah, sometimes the scans on, uh, uh, well, well, we use color scans, and it went a little too deep. Uh, this one this one is, is off-white. It is off-white, but it's, you know, there. That's really kind of true. Are we talking about. about the strip? Yeah, somebody was asking about it. <laughs> Jeff Wedding should get this one because it says a wedding on it. Touche, Marcus. That a is a wedding. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's good for your wall or your bathroom wall. You know, a wedding. I love it. A I, wedding. I love it. That's fun. So you're uh, you're going twenty five hundred dollars on this one, Anthony? Yeah, twenty five. That's good value again. Again, good that's, value. That's what uh, Sal pages uh, from Rom are going for around that range. Um, all right, yeah, so that has a mad thinker on it. That's got a classic uh, Marvel villain, not just some wraith. That's a good one. Hey, Sharon, um, you want to do your cake or not? Yeah, I can do my cake. All right, we got one more piece here. John uh, Burn Elswin, uh, issue 21 page. You got this one at four thousand dollars. Yeah, that's funny. Good day for a rom wedding. <laughs> I went to see Billy Idol twice. Oh God! I, I was you. such a MTV kid. All right, now this is uh, John Byrne Elswin splash, and with everybody on it, you got the Wolverine, Magneto, Beast, Nightcrawler, Colossus, Professor X, and what is it? who's that? Pip? Is that a Pip? That guy? I don't know. Yeah, he's got feet like Nightcrawler though. All right, so, so, what do you think of price wise on this one? I'll sir? do three thousand on this one. Three thousand. Okay. All right, three thousand on lot number forty. Only twenty more lots to go. Oh, Sean Clancy says he was a VH1 kid himself. Sean, you're back on Facebook. We liked you when you were on YouTube the other night, but uh, Facebook is all right too. I'll highlight your comments since nobody can see them except those on Facebook. Uh, all right, so after lot 40, which was which you had uh, marked down to what was it again? Lot 40 marked down to 3,000. Lot 41 is next. That was the uh, you got a Mike Allred Batman piece priced at uh, 3,000 dollars. Yep, 3,000 with the Batman, uh, in his kind of 40s uh version costume. This is for the Batman, the audio adventures number four cover. Uh, Anthony Marquez was doing some of this. The the our our favorite uh, owner of uh, the Kubert School and our friend, Yay! yeah, is a friend of the family. Our kid's uh, doing well there, and he's in his second year. So shout out to Anthony Marquez. But this is a an Alred cover, uh, Batman, Killer Croc, really nice image, fighting in the in the sewer. So what did I, what did I give a price? You had three thousand on it. So what is your best price on this one? Ah, uh, you know I don't have a ton of room on these. I could do twenty five on this one. Gotta pay tuition. The tuition is due. Oh no, Sharon says I gotta pay tuition. So I'm trying to raise money for, you know, tuition, payroll, rent, Christmas presents. <laughs> A hey, Matt from Pop Sequentialism said he'd pay three thousand dollars for a photo of Anthony at a Billy Idol concert. 
I could recreate it. I got to go find some leather gloves. Recreations? Like, no, no. Nah, it's, I got, I got, you know, it's got to yeah, be you. Yeah, yeah. Reaching you know? out to uh, to Mr. Idol. <laughs> All right, so twenty five hundred dollars on your lot forty one. Lot forty. Uh, what do we got here? Forty two is up next. What is forty two? Oh, that's the. Here we go. Let me highlight that way. Forty two. You've got uh, this is a, a DPS by Tony Daniel. Why are you standing out there? Can she do her cake now, please? Because I can get her back on set. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can do whatever you like, Anthony. This is your show tonight. And remember, guys, I'm trying to put out my best prices now. There's not, I don't know if Bill's going to allow a re 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 Well, all right. So we're very proud of our son, Jameson, and his storytelling abilities. And one thing that has helped him with that is his um, Dungeons and Dragons playing. So I made him a cake, a birthday cake. That He's turning 21. Yes. 21. I can't believe it. What? I remember it like it was yesterday. Crazy. So I made him a, a, it sagged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jameson. <laughs> you can't roll oh, it anymore. It's supposed to be a Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> Pentagon die. And so I got 21 on the, on the top. And, you know. I think it looks like a flat soccer ball. It's sagging. To I'm celebrate so how good the U.S. did in the World Cup. Yeah, it looks kind of like a soccer ball, but this is a Dungeons and Dragons die. And then I put other numbers. And we got a one million for the, for one, the million one million show. show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, and green on that side, too. Dark chocolate. Yeah, because like the color that Anthony wanted. Anyway. Is it green? All yeah, right. that's great. So she couldn't keep the shape on this one. It got too heavy, I guess. Oh. But uh, Jamie's turning 21. He's our, our second child to become of age. Wow. I can roll it. I will really roll this thing. <laughs> well, you had it in the freezer. It probably will bounce around and not break. Let's see. I wouldn't mess with it. Why not? Well, when I was making Were it. Were you actually going to give him that for his birthday or not? Yeah, it was. Well, then, are you going to destroy it? Well, now it's sticky. <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> sticky cake. Well, hopefully he's not watching tonight. It can still be a surprise for him. Well, like, I was, like, holding it upside down, and I was able to roll it earlier. <laughs> but then, as time went on, the cake met the, the room temperature. Right. And then yeah, uh, he, to I'm I, you know I never played D and D when there. I was a kid. I, I you know I turned into a jock after comics and eighth grade and and um, yeah I missed that. But I'm very impressed with the the story uh, telling uh, vibe that the kid gets being a dungeon master and you know he, yeah. he's writing uh, as he goes. It's improv exactly, and I think it's gr uh, great um, muscle building uh, for his storytelling. So I, I dig I agree. it. So he's in and a he's creative really school where he's, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, learning storytelling and how to, you know, storyboard and do his do his uh, do his thing. Yeah. A couple of hours ago, this cake looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's slowly deflating. It's all right though. It's beautiful. It's, melting. it's like what's said, on the inside of that cake. Ball. Oh, chocolate and chocolate ganache. Just ah. simple. Happy birthday. Now he's only 21. All right, yeah, the second kid turning 21. 21! The first one's I'm never been to a, a casino. Broad, I'm taking him to a Broadway show. I'm so excited. This Saturday, we're going to see Hades Town. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. That'll be fun. So All right. Reading, making sure I didn't miss any positive uh, notes on your storytelling. Yep, it is. 
Yeah, let's get your interest in now, folks. Transforming into hey. a gelatinous cube. <laughs> That's true. Exactly. It is very slowly. Slowly. Oh boy. All right. So what do we got next here, Anthony? But hey, Sharon, fantastic job as always. <laughs> I appreciate really? that. <laughs> really? Of course. I worked hard. Yeah, so you but, can tell us to put the time into it. You no. Know, sometimes okay. it works and sometimes it don't. Okay. That's okay. You're still beautiful. <laughs> All right, where are we at? 42? So, 42. No, come on, Sharona. You really, you see me through those 30 year old beer goggles? <laughs> All right, so uh, this is uh, round 42. Uh, Tony Daniel and Sandu Floria, Justice League versus Suicide Squad 2, pages 2 and 3, DPS. I like big art and I cannot love <laughs> <coughs> I like big art and I cannot lie. So this has got, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, 13 characters with, with what's her evil sort of face being 13. Well, All right, that so, is a lucky number. What What's your best price on this one, sir? I'll do two even on this. Two even. Let's go. Let's get off the schneid here. Let's get some stuff done. All right. That is a uh, nice one. So you're at $2,000 for lot 42. We got uh, hey, lot 43 coming up. All this stuff is sellable. I wouldn't have it in inventory. Hey, we saw this one earlier. Now it's got the right description on it. This is lot 43, the Friends Synod Thor 406 page. You had it priced at $3,000. Yep, I'll do 25 on this with this big splash, this big splash of Thor flying into this, uh, you know, kind of a Kirby-esque uh, influenced, and that's a great panel, like flying in there. And you got a nice big sig of Joe Sinnott on the back, and he did it in uh, uh, January, February, March, 89. That is very, very nice. I love friends. Yeah. Do you like on this? Thor. Well, you friends, like on Thor is, friends on Thor is always good. Uh, All right. So 2500 is your best price on lot 43. Wondergore? Is it Wondergore? Could yes, be. it is Wondergore. Called Wondergore. There you yeah, go. Yeah, Wondergore. Uh, Comic Art Boston is offering you $2,300. Could you match that, Bill? I know you want it. <laughs> All I right, Comic Art right Boston, now. you got a deal. Let's get a couple sales going here. Thank you, Comic Art Boston. Yeah, that is a nice pickup cab. $2,300 on lot 43, Friends and Senate. Can't, right, we, sale, can't yes, we be friends, friends says Yay. Josh Flanders. <laughs> can't right. we be friends? Wait, this is the sale? Why can't we Where's be? Yeah, sale? that's a sale. Sale, 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 sale. All right, so lot 43 has sold. Let's take a look at lot. 44. That was 43? Yeah, okay. That was 43. Moving on to 44. This uh, Jeff Johnson, Al Milgram, Dan Pinojian, Amazing Spidey page. All right, let's build the stack, Comic Card Boston. Building, 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 like Legos. And uh, Alberto, if you're still out there for those cap pages, uh, somebody texted me an offer, but I'm not accepting it. Are we opening this? I do have They didn't text me, Anthony, or I might have accepted it for you. All right, next up, 44. What are you going to say about this piece? Wow, this is an amazing Spider Man page. You know what I think you should oh. say about this? What? Arg. Arg. Sharon says, Arg. Right? Yeah. So, an amazing Spider Man page with Spider Man in costume fighting with two uh, other kind of cardiac. And sticks, cardiac and sticks. They were uh, the uh, villains. Jeff Johnson, Al Milgram, Dan Panosian. Uh, it's amazing. It's Spider Man. How about dust, two? Two dust. even. Two even guys. Yeah. Putting it out there for two even. Wow. All right. 
two thousand dollars on this end page to uh, Spider-Man three seventy six lot forty four. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And if you've looked at what, I guess this may be a fill-in issue for Jeff Johnson uh, when uh, Bagley was doing it. Is that true? I don't know. I just saw. I mean, the Bagley pages are going crazy. Yes, they are. All right, lot 45 up next. All right, guys. Alex Toth. Wait a minute. What? 1850 on the Spidey Man page. All right. So from 2500 to 2000 to finally 1850 is Anthony's price on that Spidey page, lot 44. What uh, is a backup story? No, this wasn't a backup story. This this was the cover story because I've I've seen this. They didn't have backup stories in that those issues. Pretty sure. Okay, Alex Toth, lot 45, Cheeto Kid presentation. Oh, my gosh, it sounded like you ripped it. Right? Uh, yes, this is uh, priced at $3,800 right now, Anthony. Now, this is it's, a big piece of Alex Toth art. You've got, uh, it, I just you've got, got a collection of, 17 uh, by 24. Help yeah, me out here. I got, I got a, uh, a pile of of his, uh, you know, sketch pad things. Uh, they sell all day for 100 150 bucks. Look at this. Look at the art that you have here, the Alex Tove art. This is – and it's got Sharon with her with her bangs and her ha- red I hair. Love this. this reminds and it's me of called my childhood. Judo Kids. It's a presentation piece where it had Alex Tove in his prime – uh, saying, how about this for a cartoon? Or how about this for a cartoon? Scooby-Doo. I really love this. Or maybe producers came to him and said, why don't you uh, do this, that, and the other thing? Uh, you know, we got a hot girl that looks like Sharon and a, and a couple of doofy guys. And there's a class going on, martial arts style. Yeah, the judo kids beat up Kramer. Anyway, $3,000. Wow. $3,000 for this big piece of Alex Tothart. All right, so three thousand dollars on this seventeen by twenty-four Alex Toth Judo Kids color art piece, lot forty-five. That's under, well under two hundred dollars a figure. <clears throat> well under. <laughs> so oh, man. I like it. I could, uh, you know, this is one of those things. I don't mind looking at this any and every day of my life. So uh, Alex Toth is a hero of mine. And uh, we would probably never have had uh, Bruce Tim if we didn't have Alex Toth. So three thousand dollars. Really? Oh yeah, he's a hero. All right, now something a little yeah, different. Bruce Simon Bisley out. Hellblazer two ninety two cover from ten years ago. You've got this one priced at twenty five hundred dollars. Hey, we could react reenact that. Not <laughs> later. Not tonight. Not on camera. All right. So what what are you thinking on this one, uh, Anthony? Oh, look at this busy. This is a published cover, guys. Hellblazer cover. Mm, big bad wolf. Licks little red riding hood. I was thinking, wow. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? All right. Well, who wants this for twenty one hundred dollars? Wow. Published Bisley cover. Wow. 2100. Simon Bisley Hellblazer. <laughs> yeah, he de- he does have a little bit more hair than you do, Anthony. I have to agree with Marcus on that one. <laughs> sure, like- uh, but very nice. So 2100? 2100 is what you're going for on this one? 100 is a great deal for this. I'm not arguing with you. All right, twenty one hundred dollars on lot forty six. Simon Bisley it's held. Ref would probably want like four grand for it. Come on, so that's like half price. Yeah. Oh, so, right. Hellblazer cover twenty one hundred. No blue lines. No. It's no. Art pencil. You can see visible pencils. You see it. Yeah, right next to her, her belly button. Detail crotch crotch hatch. What? (laughs) What did you say? Nobody in the chat said that. Sharon came up with that all on her own. All right, twenty one hundred dollars on lot forty six by Simon Bisley. Okay, what what could be next at lot forty six? Got the golf version of Sharon. Twenty one hundred. 
All right. Uh, All right. No, so Rick no Veach, world. let's yes. get this moving. Rick Veach, this is a, 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 a recreation, Constantine's first appearance in Swamp Thing recreation sign. I can do 2100 on this. 2100. All right. That is a nice one. $2,100. Rick Beach. Swamp Thing Recreation. Uh, oh, what do we got here? Sharon Next made up. that up. Sharon, you're getting... I did not. You're getting polluted. I said crosshatch. Cross yeah, you probably, you probably messed that one up. I must have misheard it. Yes, exactly. Because we know. Anyway, where are we at? Lot 48. Marshall we, Rogers. Piece. We know where my mind lurks. Yes. All right, yes, so this one's really cool. This is a, a Marshall Rogers uh, cover art for an Else World Evil's Night Green Lantern story where they used a photo reference in the back. And uh, so the ring in this in this story, in this graphic novel, a standalone graphic novel that Else Worlds was, uh, uh, the ring came to Earth like around the turn of the century. So and that's what he looked around the turn of the century. All right. Kind so of this is a big piece of art for I'll do 22 on this. 22. Mm. 22. Right. That's wow. on 11 by 17. Yeah, and 11 by 17. And that figure is really nice and large. I mean, yeah, you could have them flying through your house. On that your is wall. nice. All right. So uh, 20 years old, fly. lot 48 at. Twenty-two hundred dollars. What do we got next here? Yeah, what do we got? Any interest out there, guys? Well, Any people, people like Green Lantern. Uh, yeah, you gotta like Marshall Rogers for a big piece of art like this. Look at that. I, I, I can't argue up, with you. It just fills up the the page. All right. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Lot forty-nine. John Buscema. <laughs> Joe Sinat. Boos. Emma. You got a fantastic 4304, uh, little flashback scenes in there, and you've got this one priced at $3,500. Look at that. And yep. the, my favorite part of this uh, is, of course, you know, you have the Lockjaw and and Quicksilver, and you got Sharon kind of with the short no, hair. I, no, I don't, no, yeah, don't like her. Sorry. And and no, like her. What about you think. with the wig over here getting married? Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Signed by Joe Sinnott. All right. So this is from 304. Wow. Yeah. Page 12, 1987. And again, Signed. got that big, nice Joe Sinnott. Joe Sinnott. I, uh, I could do uh, 2250. 2250 on this one. Anthony. Lots of heroes on that. Twenty-two fifty. Is that what you just said? What did I say? Oh no, I. Uh, I was gonna, I How about? I was gonna I'll, say. I'll do. I'll do twenty-five. That was a. That was a big, bigger drop than. Yeah, I, that was a little too much. All right. Hey. Twenty-five. Uh, Twenty-five hundred. Lot forty-nine. John Buscema, Joe Sinat, FF three hundred four page. All right. Yeah. No, it's very nice. I love the last panel too. The the wedding uh let's see oh we're up to lucky number 50 i don't know if that's lucky for you or not anthony but this is a mark bagley scott Hanna, world war hulk versus spider-man commission piece oh my goodness look at this action there goes the hulk spider-man is trying to you know stave him off all right this is my last uh 50 number 50 this is my last uh all the rest are for sure new things. All right, guys. This is the last re 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 recap piece. Yeah. Well, you re, know. Re, 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 Look re. at that. Hey, my friend and musical uh, director Chris Palmerini's in the house. <gasps> hey, Chris. I bet he's playing music somewhere. Yeah. All right, hey, tell us about the piece. Robert says blue line question mark, but we haven't even gotten the no price blue yet. Line. No blue line. This is amazing. This is this is a commission. Scott Hanna, it's Mark a pencils Bagley. and ink commission. 
Bagley Hanna. Boom. No pencil. It's happened all pencil there. and inks. It was commissioned by the, I got it from the guy who commissioned it. It's pencils and inks. And there's visible pencils all over it. I can see it. It's hard to see in the, in the picture, but you can see it of unerased pencils. So look it's at beautiful. that. Beautiful. World War Hulk. Uh, I'll do 22. Bagley stuff is going so crazy. Uh, uh, you know, it's like, come on. A Venom Splash just sold for what? 35000 Wow. Bag it up. All right, so you're at twenty two hundred dollars on the Bagley Hannah commission piece. Yeah, twenty two. It was good. All right, so twenty two hundred on lot fifty. So now Any we're interest, on. Robert it says very nice. That's his interest. So uh, all right, moving down to we've we've got ten day butts tonight, everybody. Ten day butts. Okay. And let's Are see. First ready? up, lot fifty one. Uh, Rudy Nebris piece. No. Oh. What's Speaking my favorite thing about this one? The the butts. Haunches? Yeah, and the haunches. <laughs> it's, so tell us. It's, it's the day butts. I mean, hello. It's a wood fairy. Maybe well, that's uh, very a very sexy part. wood the fairy. Wood. A very sexy full figured. She gets her protein somehow. I thought wood fairies would be vegetarians. Right, Sharon? Yeah, wood fairies are vegetarians. Uh, pollination. Mm, nah. Anyway, wood sexy wood, wood fairy. Uh, this is a, a <laughs> six and a quarter. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so on these two butts, that's pretty much where I'm at with them. 625. Yeah, 625. So this is my Rudy Nebrez round, my tribute to Rudy. Uh, great guy. Known him for a long time. All right, so then we have a Rudy Nebrez. And wait, on, on the uh, the size on that first one, it's 9 by 12? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Looks like a... Yeah, 9 by 12. All right, nine so by 9 12. by 12 on that one. And I know the next one's oh, a Nebrez 12. piece, and it's 9 by 12. No, that's, as... nine by tw that's a 12. You're not seeing the number. 9 by 12. Yes, you can't see the number. She doesn't have her old lady glasses on. Come Where on. put them on? Well, it's Never good thing you've got on. yours on. Oh. All right, so the sexy wood fairy. I mean, six hundred, you know. But uh, these are this is, mm, and mm. a lot of visible pencils. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous. Six hundred is what you just said. All right, so lot fifty-two it's next. Necro. Another Nebras piece. All right, now we got another Nebras piece, a Wolverine. Wow, and you know Rudy loves doing the kind of fantasy uh, fairy and Conan stuff. Snick, so. Snick. You know, sneak, sneak. I've seen these these uh, commissions that he's done for the past 30 years. And this one is a really, really good. There it goes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Nice pickup, Rick. That is really, nice really good hero commission. Goodbye, Rick. Rick Welch. All right. So I couldn't even finish my sentence. Hey, Anthony, uh, I, you know, it's kind of like an amazing thing has happened while uh, the show's been going on. Someone has discovered a photograph of you at the Billy Idol concert. Don't it's I have gonna, my, my leather gloves make, on? It's going to make Matt the happiest man on earth. Let's show it, everybody. OMG. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. He even I'm got a page, along with Billy everybody. Idol. He had those pasties back in the day. Look at that. Whoa. Rock out, Mr. I mean, Snyder. You forgot, you forgot my little yeah, leatherette dude, gloves. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Uh, Sharon loves me. That's all that Billy matters. loves her in that one. I can tell. That is amazing. And thank you. You know, I, I'll tell you, the, the guy who uncovered this piece, Dino Mauricio. Thank you so much, Dino. I knew someone thank would be out there scouring you. the interwebs for this photograph, and it has been found. All right, Dino, now that you got that out of your system, buy something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Billy can't slap him in the back of the head. <laughs> more, He's more, like, more. "Hey, you! Hey, this ain't no Elvis concert. Get off the stage! Get off the stage! Get off!" Eyes without, Eyes without a face, <laughs> ain't no human race. <laughs> Your eyes without a face. <laughs> Oh, Dino, you have made our night. Oh, Thank you so much. Yay. Now make my night and buy something. Oh my 
Oh, that. boy. Uh, all right, moving right along. Thank you, Rick Walsh. Black for that. wedding. <laughs> Lot well, 53 is next, everybody. I what have, what have we got? Idol. He kind of had a crush on me, but I had to. Yeah, I had to yeah. Push him away. Yeah, I had to push him away. <laughs> anyway. All right, we got Lot 53 here. Pablo All right, Marcos. This is my uh, tribute to Pablo Marcos. Uh, I, uh, I picked this up in a deal. I do not know what it's from, but it's a werewolf action page from 1978. It's, you know, one of the Marvel uh, horror books. It's got. Sharon, all terrified. Look at that. I'm really? I'm there and I'm terrified. Yeah. <laughs> but some great werewolf action. It's all black and white art, finished black and white art. And the werewolf is, uh, you know, running around. This is incredible. And then drop Sharon from the roof. Oh, no. What? No. That is I criminal. And it is gappy too, CJ said. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. That second panel, you got a pair of gaps going on there, but it's amazing. Signed by Pablo as well. Incredible. I, I love this. I, I kind of want to keep it. Yeah, it's signed 1978. So that's in the prime time of the Marvel Monster magazine. So uh, for sure. And it's it's got the stamp uh, on the back. So it's for sure published. But just the lines and so the, I just don't know how which clean from. it is. I just love this. this yeah. Incredible. So, All right, so so seven, because it's finished black and white art. She doesn't realize that. This was done for the magazine. I do realize and that. And it's, fit, you know, that was done for finished black and white art. It's completely finished. Okay. Buy one gap, get one gap free, says Wes. Simple. All right, so seven fifty on that one, at least for the moment, because we, we probably will have time to run through everything really quickly at the end here. So okay. uh, let's take a look at the next lot, 54. Another Marcos piece. That's incredible. Uh, I, if I, if I, I don't, I try not to, I mean, if I was offering a blue line piece, I'd, I'd say it in the title. There was just a question oh. about it. It wasn't a... Oh. Someone was asking about blue lines. It wasn't whether or not that piece was blue lines. Yeah, they didn't. Someone they, was asking, does blue lines affect the price? Uh, uh, Chuck, oh, they Chuck, were Chuck was giving. It. Was, well, Chuck, the question originally was on the uh, Bagley Hannah page, and you right, know, but that, that yeah, there's a but, possibility. But, you but know, that wasn't the question that Chuck was answering. Somebody, uh, somebody before else, him. See, I William, took it as William O. Thing. William O asked, when you guys say blue line, what do you mean? And does it affect the price of art? So it wasn't, he, you know, it was just at any rate. That's a question well, for a good cap let me, let me explain this because I want to, you know, just get that out there. If something is blue line, that means like and it detracts from the value. That means like the penciler had to send it to the inker, a scan of it, and they had to do it remotely because Marvel doesn't pay for FedEx anymore. That's what's really brought on the, the advent of blue line. Just well, yeah. To me, it's more the, the issue for collectors is more is there a pencil piece out there as well as this ink yeah. piece that I'm getting? Uh, but there's all there's plenty of other factors involved in it. But uh, that would be the main one. Is the main, you know, somebody's, the main when somebody's buying an ink piece, they want to know it's the only piece out. Yeah, there. if it's separate. And I've offered both pieces a few times on the show where you're getting both. You're getting the pencil and the ink. Uh, they're put together. Um, now, what has come along lately is that these artists have done their own thumbnails, duped those up to 11 by 17, finished their pencils, and inked themselves on that board. Now, that now that's a, a blue line thumbnail, but it's all their art. And that's that's, that's totally different. Yep. That's that's it's all their art. Now that's how the art is. That's how it's created. There's no second piece. So for me, I I am accepting of that and moving with that in the in the business. Right. All so it's right? two different things. But you're you're running. You're eating into your recap time. But yes, there okay. is the blue line pencils when there is uh, in a second piece, or there's the ones. Yes, we can talk about the, Thursday. I'd be happy to chat about blue lines all we want. Are you all inviting right. me? Uh, yes, blue lines. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. No, you're getting me all confused now. Let's keep this thing rolling. What are we doing with this one? Because you didn't. You didn't give us a. You didn't all give right, us a well, show this one, and tell this on this one, one. is. Uh, uh, well, he was doing pinups for you know Conan Saga, Conan the, the Barbarian, Conan Savage Sword, all these, and I haven't identified which issue this was. So this is a uh, number fifty four. Is a Pablo Marcos pinup, uh, and. Uh, I, it's more than likely published in one of those uh, frontage back cover, front cover pieces. So that's 
that's what this is. And I'm I'm asking two thousand dollars for it, and I can do like eighteen tonight. Okay, eighteen. All right, so you're at eighteen hundred at the moment on lot fifty four. Let's go over to lot fifty five now. All right, so now this one is fresh off the presses. I just got this in. Uh, I, I have a Humberto Ramos Strange Academy 20, page 18, uh, with all, tons of characters. Uh, these are kind of tough to get. They're they're snapped up really quick by the collectors and fans of the the title. And so that is that. Uh, Humberto <laughs> Ramos Strange Academy, $1,000. Uh, all right. 1000 is the price currently on your, your yeah. lot 55. So let's go over to lot. 56. Okay, so I like to uh, represent deals I've gotten, you know, from my from that are going up on the website. So I got uh, a stack of these, and uh, these are Alex Toe scribble sheets. And we got planes, and we got cars, and we got texts, and we got people and women's. Wow. So this is the master of the simplicity. Simplicity master. Wow. So this whole batch is $500. So you have four separate pieces of art. Of, this, from, of his guess, doodle piece. sheets. Yeah, yeah those doodle sheets. You got people, yep. portraits. I try to give a, you know, a nice broad representation. Somebody that wanted some great Alex Toth reference, uh, uh, you know, representation in there collection that's crazy just, and this is like, the guy that designed all our cartoons from our childhood including the most famous of which being the super friends to imagine him sitting there and drawing that is just like mind-blowing and he's got uh he's got uh he's got he wanted to order a cops video <laughs> 24 dollars. that's funny all right so four pieces 500 dollars Tonight I'll make you pay me, baby. Shake it, Anthony. All right, five hundred dollars for four down. pieces of Toth art. That makes everybody. I'll do nervous. four right now. Four, four. Let's go. One hundred dollars a page, everybody, on lot fifty-six. Okay, four hundred dollars, lot fifty-six. Next up, lot fifty. These are on five by seven drawing paper. He would do a pad of them. You know, he would just churn these out. These five by seven drawing papers. Okay, so, so now special. this one is cool. This is uh, the first panel appearance of Black Mariah from Hero for Hire. So this is a curated debut. That's her first panel appearance. Clud, you know that you know you got the sneaking in the frame over here, and then got her a left. Yep. Back slap. Yeah, the, like you, like Hulk does to you. Yes. Yeah, so and Loki. Well, that's me too, I guess. All right. All right. So first panel appearance of Black Mariah from Hero for Hire. I believe she was used in the in the series uh, and uh as a character as well. So first panel appearance. I thought I'd throw it out there, that's guys. That's awesome. 25 hun. All right, 25 hun on lot 57. Next up, lot 58. All right, now Silver Surfer is so hot right now, and I collect these pages, but I decided to peel one out for Christmas, uh, put it out there. This is, you know, the Defenders 11 cover sold for what, 110? So this is a page, an interior page where you can, they're all in cloaked, uh, you know, sneaking around, but there's the Surfer and Hawkeye, Doctor Strange, Black Knight, and Namor. And then the uh, big uh, monster is like gonna come after him. So I, I'm putting this out there for uh, five thousand. I couldn't replace it for that. And if you had clear shots, of everybody, I mean, they're you know eight to fifteen now. So five, five. All right, so five thousand on lot fifty-eight. Two more lots to go, everybody. Mm -hmm. What do we got here for lot fifty-nine? There were bricks in that one too, Anthony. I saw them. Yeah. Well, so speaking of Christmas. All right. So, you know, this is like uh, when the parade is ending and here comes Santa Claus in front of Macy's. So here it is. <laughs> so oh, oh, oh. here's Killer Santa Claus. Oh, Alberto, I thought all you wanted for Christmas was that double page spread from Avenger of Cap Six. 
No. Okay. Oh, Sing it, oh, Anthony. Oh. All right. Oh, so now oh, we got oh. this crazy Santa coming after and killing people and taking off in his reindeer sleigh. Ah. So this is from my artist, Riley Brown. It's from a holiday special issue he did. Wow. He looks so happy. 17 Santa years ago. So great. It's 17 years old. Ooh. My goodness. Yeah. Poor Santa. Okay. So to end to end our uh you know our lineup tonight i have this fun very fun bill morrison what what's that face oh look at that i'm curious what it is oh my goodness itchy and scratchy all right so this is to celebrate my beautiful wife and her cooking she didn't want to look at this too much because itchy is making uh, a holiday cookies out of scratchy which was the running joke yeah uh robert the hellblazer i mean the um the uh the uh, phantom stranger was i down to four on that uh i'd have to go back through my notes to get to that one i'm not sure what lot number that was uh you were at, 40, I was at 45 you were at 4500 on lot 26 with, yeah 45. See, West has notes. He's taking notes. Thank you, West. I appreciate you. All right. So this is uh, the cookie, uh, itchy and scratchy cookie cover. This is, uh, uh, you know, there's a published cover from Bill Morrison signed by wow. the man. So as a, from a holiday issue, I get along well with Bill. So that's, this is, uh, he peels some stuff out for me. And the glare. Uh, the glare, the glare. There, you sell it, Sharon. Mm -hmm. I got this for seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, it's uh, in his uh, amazingly beautiful animation art style. So, uh, Robert, you want to do forty-two fifty on the uh, Phantom Stranger? I'll do forty-two fifty. This is incredible. Wheeling and dealing with Anthony Snyder. You could give this to someone for yeah. the holidays and be like, yeah. So All Anthony, right. why don't we we could go through things really quickly with the yeah. prices that you've got and uh, sure. call it a night? I That'd think. be fine. Yeah, sure. You know, frame that one in the kitchen. Stanley says I don't disagree. Should, I, Sharon, right. uh, should 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 do that. Stan Gabe Stanley. Carino has a claim at fifty nine and sixty. Oh, oh nice. the two last Christmas ones. Okay, great, Gabe. Thank you very much. All right. Well, before we get to the recap, that's always good. Fifty nine and, and six. You both the game. A claim at four hundred for the uh, the Toth lot. That's cool. Yay! Black shoe films. Nice pickup on those. Thank you, Gabe. Thanks for being a part of my Christmas festivities here. <laughs> if only you had a snow machine going on. If only. And again, thank you for Black shoe films as well. All right. Now we can go through and recap few things here thank you gabe and remember guys everybody i take paypal i gladly accept paypal you glad well that well mike can't anymore if you recall i think he got into trouble or something so lot 24 was the busema wolverine robert said that if you can do five payments he can do it you were at fifty five hundred dollars if you can't do five time payments he completely understands what do you well how uh how fast or how long do you need robert you send like a thousand dollars now and then keep it coming as soon as you can. That's fine. I accept that offer. All right. Yeah. Okay. There you go, Robert. Awesome. Nice pickup on that one. I had looked at that page myself over uh, over the year, but so it's a good pickup. You Definitely. need to pull the trigger, Bill. Come on. I'm I'm weak. I'm weak. But uh, but no, nice twice up page there. You're a Midwesterner. You're like, you know, I got to think about it. I got to think about it. I got to think I about it. I talk it. about it all the time. I talk. No, I don't forget. I talk about it all the time. I go back to dealer sites and look at certain pages over and over again. And I almost feel like I own them. And then one day somebody else does. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what happens with people that forget about their time payments. And it's there two years later. And I'm like, hey, can I get paid for this? And they think, they, oh, what we got? Black, would Anthony take 35 with three time payments on 30 to Cubert before Watchmen. Mm. Yeah, that you were at $3,800, uh, and that was lot 32. And uh, so 3500 is 
in the right range, I'd say. Three time payments. All right, so Black Shoe, you're combining that with the uh, what did what did you just buy? Black Shoe also got the Toths. The Toths? Yep. 42. Let's do uh, on time payments. Can we just uh, do 36? Just make it an even number. 36. So his total is four thousand for the two. Yeah, right. Basically. Yeah, thirty six, and uh, you give me a thousand dollars down tonight, and then take care of the rest. How about that? That's amazing, Anthony. And All right. Well, he says he'll pay for the totes now. And then, uh, you, but you gotta, I, I gotta get some kind of down payment on the, uh, the, the. Yeah, and he's good with the thirty six on the keyword as well. Okay, so. so we got a deal. Great. Yay! All right. Thank you, Black Shoe Films, on that. <laughs> and Margaret tells me I literally own the best comic art website on the planet. I'm, I'm well within my rights to buy art whenever I want. Thank you, Margaret. All right, <laughs> so I agree. The Kubert. <laughs> The Kubert, uh, which, oh my God, what number was that, Bill? That yeah. was lot 32 at $3,600. All right. Okay, cool. All right, so Sharon, can you help me get that whole pile over here so I can just go back over? Yes. And that You have to show them. We can just show them on the, on, the, on the, you know, you don't have to show the art. We can look at the art on the lovely slides unless you really want to hold them. Okay, yeah, you can just go back through the slides. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'll That's be faster. Fine. It's my pleasure, Margaret. The noise you you heard. Anybody else got some offers and some action? I'm here Before for we get started. Some action, <laughs> action, action. We want action. All right. Well, we're going all the way back to the what top happened? here. Yeah, like I popped it, but it didn't. Oh, uh, you didn't get your crown, and it didn't pop for you. You got a dog. No cat. toy inside. You got a keychain. Okay, number one was the the, the John Romita Senior. Yeah, John Romita uh, Senior. Your your uh, price was twenty two five two hundred. No, two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. All right, I'll just put it out there. If somebody wants to, uh, you know, step up and do two fifteen, it's another tonight only out of my pocket. Tonight only two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars on lot one, lot two. You were at. A hundred thousand dollars on this one for lot two. What do you think on this Don Heck? Yeah, that's that's that. That's the price. Yeah. All right. So one hundred thousand on lot two. Next up, you got lot three. That was that Gil Kane Spidey page. You were at seventy-five thousand on this one. Green Goblin. Whoa. Yeah, seventy-five. That's it. Uh, so, ML. Uh, I I paid fifteen hundred for that Spider-Man Sunday. To go with your Spider-Man dailies, if you can do fifteen, that's. Um, I don't know what Sunday. Is this a... now, ML is asking me about something that he that he bought some dailies from me, and I and then I picked up the Sunday from that week. So to go with it, I could do fifteen. Can you do that, ML? <clears throat> and we can count that on our uh, on our thing. Yeah, and William, oh, go ahead and you can ask your question, and those in the chat will take care of you. They definitely will. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I, uh, I I didn't overreact to somebody. I, I just say you know you know I would no, say well, it's, it's, cool it, it's okay. So uh, seventy five on this one, lot three. Yeah, seventy five. Yeah. Okay, sticking at seventy five on lot three and lot four. You uh, you were at seventy five with this one as yeah. well. And that's you know the the great thing about this cover is is this gigantic image of Batman and uh, the roll call is all art. Yeah. On both sides with the JSA, Incredible. Black Canary, Doctor Fate, Doctor Midnight, Sandman, Spectre, Spectre, Wildcat. Yeah, I love that. Right, yes, 75. that's a great Goblin page. And this one, uh, I you, you were know, at sixty eight. Sixty eight. Yeah, I could do sixty five. That's the best. I had somebody uh, making an offer today, but I guess I like it more than him. All right, next up, lot six. You were at 28 on this one. Yep, 20. I could do 20. Uh, 27.5. 27.5. I got to write this down. So if people watch this afterwards and ask me, I'm writing it down. All right, so 27,500 on uh, lot six, lot seven. You were at uh, 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Okay. I could do 17 if you sneak it in now. All uh, right. Hunter's 80. 
What do we got next here? Yep, Avengers yeah, 80. 80, 80 you were, Red you were, Wolf origin page. You, I, I think this is kind of special and, and fun. You know, it's yes, it's a, you know, secondary character, let's say. But, I mean, it's still cool that, uh, you know, this is his first appearance and his origin. Yep, and you were at 15. Uh, Are we sticking to 15? Yeah, I'm going to stick to 15. On that. All right, next up. Bat Batlash at 12. Yep. And the kid called at 13. Yep. Yep. Keeping, That's voice up cover, guys. Keeping steady on those. A lot of 11 did sell. Thank you, Daryl, for that pickup. And, and uh, oh, we've got the uh, Epting cap. You were at 7.5 on this one. Oh. Hmm. Tonight only I'll do, I'll, you know, my cost on these, honestly, was was seven. So I'll, I'll, I'll put it out there uh, at seven. D1. <laughs> Seven D1. All right. So 29% off $7,100 on Anthony's lot 12. Okay. Lot 13 by Assad. You were at $10,500. Yep. That's it. That's, that's, it has to stay there. All right. And Assad again, you were at uh, $7,500 on this one. Uh, if somebody's, Okay, ML says yes on the the uh, Sunday, and we can put that on the tab, um, Bill. All right. Uh, Yay! Fifteen hundred on a Spidey Sunday. Spidey Sunday. Uh, he got seven. Uh, well, he got some dailies, and this was a Sunday, and I wanted two thousand, but I mean, I'm in the the giving mood here. Anybody else see anything on the website that they want to make an offer on? Let me know. So now's was, the time to do it. Now's the time to do it. I'm trying exactly. to exactly uh got uh, 20 people to support. And myself we, included. Um uh, so this is side piece, Anthony. Lot 14. Okay, so this uh the last piece is wrapped. I actually own this. I got this back in a deal. Uh we could do I could do seven even on it, but that's that's crazy good price. All right. Uh, down from nine, Anthony's at seven thousand on that one. Oh, by the way, this has the prelim with it, <gasps> and it comes with the prelim. So it should be seven two fifty. You want to find that one? I want to show that prelim. It might take me a while, so I'll just wait. Okay. All right. Should we move along or no? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. I got about eight All minutes, right. so we're at the two hour mark. So All right, that's fine. Yeah, I'll get through these. You were at ten right, so K. The Superboy. Uh I guess I like these more than uh uh people in the that are attending here tonight because the super babies I, I was a favorite of mine. And uh that's that's that. Um so you're sticking at ten with the card yeah, cover. Yeah. All right. Because I'd pay ten to get that. Uh again, uh where was I at? Ten five or ten on this one? You were at ten. What page am I on? Oh, there it is. I don't know. This is, but yes, yeah, the card you wanted cover. You were at 10K. Yeah, 10K on this one. I can't go any lower, really. So, I mean, and then uh, seven on the Superman family. Yep. Uh, again, I can't go any lower on that one. All right, lot 18. Uh, Human Torch, 85. I could do, listen, if, if there's a Golden Age guy out there that wants an example, Carl Burgos's Human Torch, here's your chance. And I'll do seventy five hundred on it. All right, you were at eighty five. Now you're at seventy five hundred. It's thirteen by nineteen inches. A lot eighteen. Burgos airs from nineteen fifty four. Uh, all right, next up, lot nineteen. That was that Starlin Jansen unpublished Tomb Dracula cover. You were at sixty two fifty. All right, I can do six thousand on this one. Uh, Black Viper Dome. Uh, that's a kind of yeah. That's an offer. I have to. Uh, I have to find that. I, I have to pull that and confirm it. So if we can transfer that to a, an ask for from the website, that's fine. And uh, if I do the deal, then uh, Bill get credit. All right, not a problem. I'll make a note of it so uh, you can check it out. So oh, if you can just send me an email on that one and say, you know, hey, can you pull the X Men Extraordinary? Uh, and uh, I'll do 500 on it. That's fine. I'll and I'll do stuff like that all night uh, for the rest of the night. All right. So what else we got? 
All right. So this is this one here. You were at sixty two fifty. All right, six six K. If anybody likes this Starlin, and then uh, we got the Mike Magnola. That's correct. Let me go ahead and highlight that one. That was the card or the COA art. That's right. Samuel Dean, I I I can do that with you. I know that's I know that's here. The Asheron page. I almost used it in this uh, in this uh, in this uh, countdown. But yes, I can do that with you. So 3K on time payments. Uh, send me your uh, email and I'll send you a bill where you can make a thousand dollar down payment. How's that? All right. And Black Incredible. Viper. Yay. Black Viper. Yeah. If it's March 675, I could do that with you tonight. Uh, I just got to confirm it's here and I'll send you an invoice on that. So send me an email. So, okay. So 3,000 on the uh, Asheron page. And 500 on the Black uh, Viper Dome X Men 9 Umberto Ramos page. Okay, great. Yep. All right, doing some business. I like it. Yeah, everybody should be shopping Anthony's site right now and making. I know we should have kind of we should have like. Uh, yeah. Well, now you now you have a whole new show format, Anthony. One day yeah. we can show some art, but then tell people make offers off of the website. So. And. And you know what? I'll do that from the warehouse where my assistant can go and pull the stuff. Oh my God, genius! So we'll do that. We'll do a format like that where uh, people can uh, ask. You know, uh, all right. What else we got? It's an offer from uh, Michael Rock on a Gray Morrow Space 1999 page. Uh, they're offering you 175. You have it at 250 on your site. Oh, that's okay so uh, that's i don't know if i have that one so you gotta you gotta email me that or order it on the site and i'll accept the offer based on availability so and, yeah maybe maybe anybody who's you're accepting their offers they should just go ahead and submit it through the site so that you yeah can but keep properly... track of this can you keep track of this i'm, I'm taking notes yeah i'm taking notes I'm... all right because i've kind of and then avengers 11 page 18 uh that's a jr jr j sue right JRJR. JR. Yeah, because I broke that issue up. Uh yeah, so what happened? Oh, okay, a thousand. What you tell me, guys, tell me what it's marked and tell me what the offer is. Yeah. So Jesus, just let uh, Anthony know what the what it's marked at. What when, is it? Is it 12? I mean, I'm not looking at your site. So what's Anthony's site, really? Anthony's comic book art.com. Hazy says it was 13, 1350, and he's offering 13. All right, uh, I can do that. Claim 51 for 525. 51. So, oh, the Wood Fairy. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, Yay. I'll give you a good deal on that. That's a Wood Fairy nymph. We can do that. All right, so Jesus, you know, and I'd say everybody else who's picked a piece off the site. Uh, that Anthony's confirmed he'll take the offer. Go ahead and just request it through the cart system on his site. So that way he's got all the information. I'm making notes here too, but that way he's got it in the system. It'll be easier for him to follow up with those pieces that are in the warehouse. Yeah, but most of these I know. Uh, I know that record. I got to make sure that there was a record in it because there was an issue with the uh, the record. Might there, It might have just been a sleeve and not the record. I got to figure that out. But all these all these offers, email me because I know some of them are there and we can do that tonight. Yeah. So J Sue, yeah, I'll do the thousand on the other one, on the JRJR splash. And then Stanley, thank you for the fifty one. Uh, yeah. That's good. Then yeah. where are we picking up from? Uh, well, I just wanted to make sure. Let's see. Okay, I wanted to highlight that one. So you you know what which piece he's talking about there? Yeah. Because there's a, there was a batch of uh, Xeroxes and and uh, and proofs that I got that, that came from the uh, Jack's house, right? And this was there was a scream along with Marvel record, but I got to make sure that there's a record in the sleeve. Okay. All right. Like Mark Levy says, Albert says next. All right. So we talk about the piece that's on the screen. It's the Mike Magnola playing card uh, artwork that was for the COA. And you, let's see, lot 20, you were at $6,500 on that one. Okay, I can do six on this one tonight. 
Six on this one tonight six only. On. Yeah. No, six thou. Six thou. Oh. Six thou, Sharon. I just like to say hun. Do you? All right. So six thousand dollars. Uh hey Suze, go ahead and order it through Anthony's site, but in the comments when you send when you send that in, just just say, you know, you can mention that Anthony accepted one thousand dollar offer on the piece. So that way he's got it in his uh his website system and it's noted that he accepted your one thousand dollar offer. Yeah, some of these I'm going to make sure, uh, you know, super confirm on the poll and then bill you tomorrow. But otherwise, you know, we got we got the thought for that. Next time I'm going to do it from the warehouse and have my assistant here and he'll run and pull it and we'll do the deal. Nice That's cool. I want to do that soon. Oh, I'm sure. All right. So next up, lot 21, you were at 6.5. Yeah, 6.5 on this one. Uh, I don't love this. Love, Sharon loves it. Uh, we could do sixty-two fifty. That's that's and then. I mean, his face is made up of the other guys. I mean, it, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. All right, so six thousand two hundred fifty and lot twenty-one. Lot twenty-two is next. That was the uh, the variant Venom cover by John Romita Jr. You were at six thousand dollars on this one. Yeah, six even is good price for this. And uh, again, uh, Kevin with the iBots, George Perez, send me an email and uh, I'll confirm that tomorrow. Love this page. It's, it's amazing. Bill, is all this chat available if you play back? Uh, not easily for you. I'm, ta I'm taking notes, though. Okay. I mean, and again, everybody who Anthony has accepted an offer from, just drop that piece into a cart on his website and go ahead and submit the want list for it and email me directly too i, I mean I'll, I'll forward those to my assistant and he'll be on them first thing in the morning yeah well, that's what the, he he handles all your want list stuff every time i make an order he always gets okay, back so to six, six grand is a great price for this jr jr i gotta uh that's it for that one all, all right, right so uh six grand on lot 22 and then 9500 on the on the uh man nine yeah. grand all right, so 9000 is your price on lot 23. Let's go ahead and take a look at lot 24 here. That was the one that's already gone. Thank you, Robert. Lot 25 is next. That was the Salvi Sema, Al Milgram, Journey to Mystery uh, Splash. You were at 5000 on that one. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, I paid 5000 for this, so that's uh, I got to stick with that. Phantom yeah. Stranger cover. Are we, we Are we doing a deal on that one? Uh, well, we're oh, no, he switched to the he switched to the John Basema, right? Correct, right? You, were, I think he maybe offered you four thousand, but you you dropped it to forty two fifty. Do you want to do four grand on this, Robert? I'll do four grand on this. Wow! All right, so uh, you're dropping lot twenty six to uh, four thousand dollars by Dominguez, Phantom Stranger uh, issue thirty I cover from nineteen seventy four. Yep. Crazy amazing. So Kevin, uh, email me directly with that offer and I'll, I'll, I'll we can take care of that in the morning. That's great. Yeah. All right. So and, and uh, through the website, but Anthony's email is Anthony at Anthony Snyder.com for those of you who didn't know. All right. So $4,000 on lot 26. Let's go ahead and take a look at lot 27. Uh, 27 the is the Conan versus mummy. Yeah. You're at $4,500. Oh, all right. I could do 4250 Okay. Right. This is a, um, a stunning all Alfredo Alcala edge to edge with bricks and mommies and axe. Okay. And thigh gap. All thigh right. Gap. And next up, 28. So you were at uh, $2,500 on this one. Yeah. I can do, you know what? I, I'll, I'll throw this out there. This is definitely a uh, used merchandise art. Uh, so I'll do two grand on this. All right, two thousand dollars on lot twenty-eight. All right. Next up, lot twenty-nine. You All right. Were... Uh, yeah, the BRPD. I, I was down to sixty-five hundred. You know. Hello. Tonight only six thousand dollars. All right, six thousand dollars on the are going for that on eBay. Yeah. All right, then we got the Ferris cover. Yep. And then you were at uh, what were you at on that? Uh, sixty-five hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't know if I can go any lower on this. This is one of those ones that came out of, uh, you know, 62. 
trying give to the pose. Give the pose. Go get your pearl go. necklace. Go get your pearl necklace. All right. I'll be the train. Hundred dollars on this Adam on a daily basis. Next up, okay. lot thirty-one. You were at four thousand two hundred dollars on this one. Uh, didn't somebody want this? Mm, no. They should. You no, you're thinking of the other Qbert piece, but this one's at four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do four grand on this tonight only. Tonight only, four grand. All right. So lot 32 did sell. That was that watch uh, before Watchman piece. So uh, let's see. Lot 33 is next. Uh, this one you were at four thousand dollars. All right, four thousand. Uh, I'll do. You know what? I'm going to do thirty five hundred on this Kirby. Thirty five hundred. All right, thirty five hundred dollars on uh, that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten figures of Jack Kirby. Kirby pencil. Kirby. Uh, you're welcome, Lyle. Uh, yeah, for Jack Kirby. All right. All right. Thirty-five hundred dollars. Uh, now we're going to lot thirty-four. You were at five thousand five hundred dollars on the massive. Yeah. Look, look, guys, five even on this. Five even. Okay, five thousand right. dollars. Lot thirty-four. Lot thirty-five is next. We got uh, that's the Robins. You were at three thousand even. Yeah. Look, anybody in the chat right now? Twenty-five hundred. Okay, twenty five hundred dollars on the Robins, uh, Batman unpublished anti drug story. So uh, from nineteen seventy four, twenty five hundred dollars lot thirty five. Now we got lot thirty six. That was the Terry Rachel Dodson piece. You were thirty five hundred dollars on that one. Yeah, I can do thirty two. Was uh, the Kirby signed? Was a question from uh, Matthew DeTulio, new member on the site. Thank you, or on the on the channel. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I don't think so. I don't he remember seeing a signature on that. I think he did it for his daughter who was staging a play. Sharon, can you help or where'd you go? I gotta let Yogi out. Gotta let our blind dog out. Uh, ouch. Ouch. Okay. Sorry. There it is. All right. All right, so uh, this is definitely Jack's handwriting on this. Uh, can you see? Let's see. Uh, servants to Brutus and Cassius. That's Jack's handwriting for sure. Yep, and you were at uh, $3,500 on this one. So no Jack signature, but Jack's handwriting for sure. Yeah, no sig. All right, so 36, uh, lot 36 is your next one. You were at $3,500 on it. But like I said, this came from his personal stuff. All right, any other uh, inquiries? All right, so 32 on the uh, Dodson. All right, $3,200 on lot 36. Then we've got uh, lot 37. That's the Frank Cho. You were at $3,000 on this yeah, one. Yeah, I can't go any lower than that. All right, so sticking it. Rip Kirby. Yep. So, yep. Next up, uh, the Rip Kirby. You were at thirty-two hundred dollars on it. Uh, that's boy, three thousand dollars. All right, three thousand on lot thirty-eight. The Alex Raymond Rip Kirby. Michael Rock is asking you a question about: uh, Would you take twelve hundred dollars for the Planet of the Apes number three, page twenty? Mike Plugart. Oh you man, I like Planet of the Apes Plugart. Fourteen. Right. I know I have that one. So that's a counter offer back to you, Michael. At 14. All right. And you're at 3,000 on the Alex Raymond, lot 38. Next up, we got lot 39. That was the Sal Buscema ROM page. You dropped this one to $2,500. All right. Wow. I paid 25 for that. I, I 24 is, I mean, 24. Michael Rock, send me an email with that request if uh, you're thinking about it. Send me an email. Send me an email. All right. So then we have the uh, X Men Elswin. Yes, we do. That one, you were at three thousand dollars on that one. Really? Wow! I can't go any lower than that. Okay, that's your Christmas special. Uh, three thousand yeah. dollars on lot forty. 
And lot 41, you were at $2,500. That's the all red. Yeah, that's that's the lowest I can go on that. Batman cover. Come on, guys. Published Batman cover by Alred. Classic 1940s Batman. Yep, that's when you were at $2,000 on lot 42. Yeah, that's for the DPS. That's it. I can go, I can go too. All right. Well, Comic Art Boston picked up lot 43. So let's take a look at lot 44. That was what else you want, Comic Art Boston. Oh my goodness. All right. So this one you were at 1850. All right, 1850. Ah, oh, wow. 1600. Okay, down from uh, you were at 2500 originally, down to 1600 now on lot 44. And uh, next up, the Alex Toth colored piece. Yep, that's three thou. Yep, you were at three. 28. That's about it. All right, 2800. Next up, what do we got? Cover. Yeah, you were uh, 20, 2100. 2000 even, guys. 2000 guys and gals. All right, $2,000, lot 46, the Simon Bisley Hellblazer 292 cover. We go over to lot 47. That was the Rick Beach uh, Constantine first appearance piece, uh, recreation. You were at 2100 on this one. Yeah, 2000. All right, 2000 for that. Next up, we got lot 48. That's where the close up first on that one. That was at Marshall Rogers, Green Lantern. Evil's Might number one cover from 2002. You were at $2,200 on this one. Yeah. I mean, I'll squeeze out at $2,000 uh, $2, on this, guys. But tonight right. only, tonight only. I might change my mind if you ask tomorrow, but. All right. 20 Hun on that one. 20 Hun. Yes. Uh, lot 48. Right, so, uh, FF Medusa, 2500 Wow. Yes, so I was just gonna show that one. You were at twenty five. Is that where you're sticking? That... Yeah, I mean, I'm. I think I'm already losing money at that. So uh, let's just. I mean, twenty four. All right, twenty four hundred. World War and, Hulk. Yep, that was the uh, commission piece. The last of the re 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 recap stuff. You were at uh, twenty two hundred on this one. Tw too even. Too even. All right, $2,000 even on this uh, beautiful commission piece by Bagley and Hannah. Pencils and inks on this board, everybody. So uh, let's see, lots 51 and 52 that both the Nevers pieces did sell. So we can go over to lot 53 here. And this is the Pablo Marcos Werewolf Action page that you were at 750. Matthew DiTulio, um, what are you asking about? Uh, he's asking the FF piece that you dropped at 2400 Oh, 304. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Gosh, I am losing money on that one. Where am I at? You were twenty. You were twenty four hundred. All right, twenty two fifty. Let's do it. All right, twenty two fifty to uh, Matt Tatulio. Thank you, Matt. Yay! Thank you, Matthew. Now remember, I do PayPal, so I'm going to send everybody a PayPal invoice tonight or right. tomorrow. And as a reminder, everybody, Anthony's email address is anthony at anthonysnyder.com. If you win anything tonight, we want you to shoot him an email. Let him know which artworks you've won. Always include your mailing address when you send that in. And uh, also your YouTube or Facebook handle is always appreciated as well. All right. So this one you were at 750 to offer and we didn't change it. Are you sticking at 750? Uh, I could do like this is these are brand new to bots. So, I mean, that's the swoop. Yeah, it's, it's so incredible. This is incredible. I don't think I could do lower. 650 on this. Really? 650, yeah. All right. So 650 on a lot. On the 50. werewolf action. Yep, lot 53. The babe with monster was at 2000, right? I do 18. Well, you were at 18 on it already. Yeah, you dropped yeah, it. That's it. Okay. So 1800 on that one. Then lot 55, the Ramos. You were at 1000. Uh, I actually think that's what I paid for it. So. I'll do 900. Uh, 900 on lot 55. And, uh, oh, so the issue with those Pablo Marcos is I got them from a collector and they're not marked. I haven't been able to identify exactly which the, the werewolf is definitely published. It has a stamp on it and, uh, from 1974. So that's from a Marvel magazine and, uh, the Conan pinup 
I don't know which one you're asking about. The Conan pinup is dated like when he was doing pinups for the magazine. So mm -hmm. I, I'd be I'd be surprised if that wasn't published as well. All but right. I don't know which issue those are from. Mm -hmm. So you're nine hundred dollars on fifty five. Yeah. All right. Well, 56 did sell to Black Shoe Films. So we've got 57 next. That was the Tusca. $2,500 was your price. Yeah. This is the first panel appearance of Black Mariah. So, you know, that of, of a character that still exists today. Uh, so I'm going to stick with that. All right. And we do have a claim here from uh, Steve Crow picking up lot 53 at 650. Thank you, Steve. That's Steve Crozier. Hey, Steve, how are you? Thank I you would, very much. I would assume it is, but it's my friend Steve Crozier. He said he was going to put me in one of his movies. Oh yeah, is he a yeah? He a so that's six hundred and fifty, and a reminder that you were going to put me in one of your movies. All right. All right. Do, what else do you like, Steve? Well, so what was the price on this fifty-seven? Though, did you give me one, or I don't recall. Nice to have you in the chat uh, tonight. I, I want to stick with 25. That's what. Uh, okay. That's what I had a feeling. That's what you're going to say. That's why I was making and sure. And the Defenders, uh, I mean. Defenders I, is the last piece of the night, everybody. Just so you know. Uh, yeah. Man, I, I, 4,500 on the Defenders. All right, 4,500. And actually, it isn't the last piece of the night because the Bill Morrison is still out there, isn't it? So, 4,500. No, um, it was claimed. Oh, uh, Gabe Carino oh, claimed the last right. Gabe, two. Gabe He's... claimed them both. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Gabe claimed 59 and 60. I'd circled it as I, but I hadn't marked it. Yeah, it's my fault. All right, good. Well, then there you go. So, uh, 4,500 though on this one, right? Yeah, 45. That's that's really, uh, I mean, I collect these pages. So the Defenders side of the Avengers, Defenders crossover war. Uh, Viva! Now, remember, everybody gets a portfolio and free holiday special artworks and stuff. Where I'm adding a lot of extras in with every order. And that's uh, on, the white, uh, on the website special as well. When you order uh, from the website. Let me know uh, directly if you can send me an email with your offers and we'll we'll confirm all those in the morning. Mm -hmm. Or if I know they're there, I email me directly and I will uh, send you a, a PayPal invoice because I'll be sending PayPal invoices to everybody. Uh, email me at that email, Bill. Give me a uh, Yeah, one. I can highlight it one more time for you, Anthony. Thanks for that uh, reminder. Thank Anthony you. at anthonysnyder.com. Yep. So that that's my email. So everybody that had offers or anybody, uh, two thousand on the Alred. Wow. I saw that Nola Sean. That no, buys that buy some textbooks and art supplies, Anthony. I need I need twenty one on it. And uh, yeah, what what lot number was that one? I'm trying to just go through and find it. That's I know. Number. Caesar oh, Alvarez won the Batlash at 10K. Wow. Exactly what I paid for it, but I'll do the deal with you. All right. See, that's a nice, nice piece. That was lot nine going for 10K. Uh, you were at 12, of course. So uh, that's uh, that. And and Nola Sean has uh, said done. On the Mike Aura, that was all a right. Lot. So twenty-one and ten K. That's good. Good little flurry at the end. What Thank else, guys? What you. else can we do? Thank you. Woo! -hoo! Let's keep. Yeah, last call rolling. for anything on the website or Dance anything. Out, Karen. Oh I'm my excited. God! And Noah, John, we we got you there. Don't forget to shoot Anthony an email. Uh, shoot, shoot. At Anthony at anthonysnyder dot com. Let them know wow. that you picked that uh, one up. Josh, number forty-seven. Josh was uh, business bill. That was the Rick Beach. Recreation. You were at two thousand, and Josh is offering you eighteen hundred. I'll do it. Let's do it. All right. Thank you very much, Yay. Josh. Yay! Thank you so much. The art of the deal with Anthony and the Sharona. Yay! Okay. And the bill of the Cox. If you want to say that, <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Right. It's your name. I don't want to. Don't. I it's don't all right. Hey, I'm not reading into it. Okay. Go. <laughs> Can you do $380 for 500 on your website? 
Can we do 400 and then send the order in? 400 delivered. Sorry, I'm trying to you, you deal with that while I'm making a couple notes. Yeah, here. but this is something I, I have my have to my assistant has to do pulls on. Art right. of business. Yeah. So uh so why don't you just well, have art of business shoot Anthony an email with that and uh and, and, you know and if you're agreeing on those kind of prices, Anthony, and uh and then you can do a pull tomorrow just to make sure both of those avail yeah. are available. So that's everybody that's made that offers that hasn't been confirmed, I I mean my mind is that I know that Asheron is still there because that was a three thousand dollar thing, but when you go into like you know hundred two hundred dollar things, I, you know I have to uh, check it. I, I, yeah, Wayne. I have to. I have to have those confirmed. Correct, and uh, that is true, Wayne. We are taking offers from items that are on Anthony's website tonight. It just sort of started happening. So if there was anything on uh, Anthony's site that you are interested in, you can throw an offer out there right now. And Anthony will be happy to. Yeah. And we're doing holiday specials. Uh, everybody gets a free portfolio, a free piece of art, uh, and some other tchotchkes like uh, doing dealer's cards. Um, uh, what was the second request, Art of Business? Uh, well, that was that one right here. The second one was, can you do uh, 280 from 350 on a, on a Venom? I don't know, you know, that one the artist. But... Oh, there's two requests. All right, 400. Can we just do 600 delivered on, uh, what is it, 267? Well, 280 is fine. 280 is fine. So four, 680. 680 delivered on those ones. That's fine. But you want to have him send you an email so you can pull it. You want yeah, to I got to do polls on that one and confirm those. So, you, so art of business, I would just go ahead and if you want, if you're on the website looking at them, add them into a cart, a card, sub, yeah. submit it to the site, and in the comments, uh, put this uh, your your request in there and just mention Anthony's accepted yep. it. Uh, he just needs to get it confirmed, and he'll do polls and um, and you know confirm in the admin, and then you can can you can pay in the admin, or if you want a PayPal invoice. You, I'll send it to you. But you were yes. going to pull them anyway. Yep. Yes, so. Wayne. Give me some action. You know, you're one of my favorite customers. Let's do something. Uh, I'm doing I'm it I'm running now. out of space to write okay, things. I'm sold. <laughs> Thank you so much. What, there was one. one what else? No. Okay. So, Cesar, how do you want to pay? Are you in the area? Do you want to get together? You want to come by the warehouse? Yeah. Are you still by. in Inglewood? Is that that's you? You're in Inglewood? Caesar's got an awesome, awesome art collection. Oh, okay, yeah. Is that he's in Inglewood, right? You know? I don't know where. I don't know where. Well, he's that's the next down over from me, where we are yeah. right now. So I know I've met him before in person. So if you want to send me, uh, uh, let me know how you want to pay or you want to get together on that. We can do that. Oh no, you're in LA now. Okay. Uh, all right. So that might not be the same Caesar. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'll send you a PayPal invoice on that one. All right. So All right. what Yay. else? And Wayne said he would uh, look around, maybe shoot you an email. Uh, yeah, Wayne, free. hit me up. I do still have that last Star Wars uh, uh, sign poster if you want to do something on that. <laughs> and thanks, guys. That's wor This has worked out. I'm happy. We got a lot of action. Uh, I don't know what the uh, overall number was, but uh, I'm happy with the amount of action. Thank you. Yep. We'll thank work. You Sharon versus Anthony doing deals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sharon got her tuition. All right. Well, no, this is great. Daryl is also thanking you for closing that deal on the Miller earlier. Uh, yeah, Eric, you know that was you. that was I uh, wasn't prearranged, but uh, we had been going back and forth on it, and uh, he came up with a cash amount involved with it, which closed the deal. So we closed the deal on the show, and uh, because uh, and that's that's a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. Eric Lee oh. had a question on a, uh, can you do 150 on a 225 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with Psy commission signed by Teenage Mutant. Uh, so, so I'm not quite sure what piece it is. It's signed by Eastman, but. Uh, oh, that's probably an Escorza brother one, right? Oh, Escorza brother. Yeah. yeah that would make sense. Because I had uh, in San Diego, I, I had Escorza's and the brothers and Eastman at the table, and he yeah, was signing that was everything. So amazing. That was a lot of fun. See yeah. them like there. That was know, that made wow. my that made my Sunday. So, uh, 
Yeah, sure, Eric. I'll do that with you. Just send in the send in the request. Okay. Who's asking about uh, seven? Oh, yeah, the the Rubik. Uh, I'm really down to bare bones at seven k on the Assad uh, uh, Wolverine Magneto, only because I own that one and I'm willing to take the cash flow. If I was repping that piece, did you ever find that prelim? Oh yeah, Sharon, can you find that the, I, the color? I had a hard time. Uh, just find the color thing. It's really cool. Just it's it's on the front. It's front loaded uh, type. Can piece. you describe it? It's the color Esad cover. Esad. And nope. That's that's Daryl's new piece. Thank you, Daryl. Yep, that is a looker for sure. And we got another uh, one seventy five on the jade pencil. Uh, yeah, we can include that. It'll just build a pile there, uh, Black Viper. We can do that. It's and the, Black Viper, go ahead and submit that as a uh, want list through the website. Yep. So he's got to track that way. And just make a I, note in the comments that Anthony accepted the offer during the uh, live stream this evening. Here, show this. Did you find that? Because I'll make yeah, you guys go full screen. So. Amazing phantom yeah. stranger. We still haven't found that prelim yet. Time. It's yeah. on the back of the cover. Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, it, we put it up there. That's why we didn't find it. Hello. Uh, you were digging, and it wasn't even there. Exactly. Now we, now we know. Sorry, everybody. This is with the prelim, and I, I usually routinely sell these for about four or five hundred. So. All right, so there's the prelim. It looks exactly like it. Here, let me go. I'll put you full screen here so uh, Matt can get a good look at it. So that's a nice, like, $500 value in the deal. This is on um, eight and a half by 11 paper. And these are the kind of uh, prelims that he would send into Axel at the time for cover approval from his editor. All right. And, uh, so this, I mean, a, f a nice full one like this with a, a fully rendered Wolverine with Magneto, I would value at 500 and it's signed. So uh, that's at 7,000, that's getting this, this painted published cover from Uncanny X-Force for 6,500. That is a bargain. What a bargain. Yeah, and that, that. that's how like that. Find it earlier, everybody. Uh, this is the Luis Dominguez. I had 4,200, uh, I was down to 4,200 on it. Published uh, Luis Dominguez from the Spooky Hero line of Phantom Stranger. He's spooky. You're actually at four. You're at four on that. Oh, one. I went down to four? Okay. Yes, you did. All right, four. All right. Lyle wants to know uh, if it's okay if he sends you some uh, strip ideas, the other pieces he may be looking for. Yeah, absolutely, Lyle. I mean, we're taking orders every day. We're yep. getting about 100 packages out. If you pay today, it moves tomorrow. I have two shipping guys. I have a packing guy and then a label guy. And uh, we're a machine. We can handle 200 orders a day. Or more. Yep. There you go. Matt, Matt, we'll think about the Rubik or Rubich, as you like to say, and uh, email you tomorrow. You're quite well, welcome. You say his name is Rubich. It's I know, Rubich. Rubich. Rebitch. Rebitch. All right. Now, this is a this is no time to think about it. This is a great deal. I might change my mind tomorrow. Ha! All right. Maybe. Will you take 350 for an Kenny X Force Wolverine Magneto prelim? All right, uh, Jordan, we can uh, do something like that. Uh just uh what is that? Was that one of Assad's pieces? Yes. Okay. So 350? Yeah. To Jordan. Sure. Just send that over, uh, Jordan, as a request. Yep, everybody, please submit the orders through the want list. It'll make it a lot easier for Anthony and his team to track them tomorrow. Just make sure you note in the comments the price that Anthony has accepted uh, from the offers that you submitted tonight. All right, last, last chance. I'm in this selling mood, and my wife is pushing me to raise some raise some tuition money oh my gosh i'm like oh <laughs> and they oh. raised our health care again oh my god uh, yeah 
Razor so. Healthcare. What the beep? Anybody know a good healthcare organization? Uh, 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 most, yeah, I didn't have them take stuff that was on the website off. Hey, uh, just so you know, uh, Jordan was actually offering you three fifty for that prelim from the Assad X Force cover. So I'm, I'm guessing that would be a no. You don't want to separate. The at least the oh moment. for this one oh I'm sorry I I thought you That's meant something was... else uh, um not when I have somebody thinking about the seven thousand dollar thing but Jordan let me let me clear that up first and uh, let you know if I can sell it so right because yeah. Matt you have a bunch of separate uh, uh prelims on the website if Sharon don't let me block you you, you people need to see your beautifulness so. So anyway, so you're going to let Matt, you're going to wait to see what Matt Tatulio says about that uh, tomorrow. And yeah, then, uh, let me give me a, made a, a minute about that. I made a yeah. note for you for about Jordan's interest in that prelim and uh, that you would take that price if uh, if it doesn't happen with Matt. So, yep. All good. Thank you, Jordan. We always appreciate uh, your offers. You know that. Um, so, OK. Well, okay. there Great. you have it. I think, uh, I think we're good. I think I think we're good too, and Thank so everybody much. remember. Well, appreciate it. Uh, running a little extra time here, whatever. Two and a half hours to do the business, but I think uh, we did enough business to Dude, merit that, right? Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So don't forget, everybody. Email Anthony at anthonysnyder.com. Let him know which uh, pieces you've claimed tonight, and uh, those of you who made offers on pieces on his website. You can email them directly too, but send a want list with uh, notes in the comments. It'll make it a lot easier for them all to, to track in the morning, confirm all the pieces are there, and uh, Anthony will get his invoices out to you pronto. Uh, and if uh, you p had straight claims, though, of course, email him tonight. Let him know which pieces you got. Include your mailing address, and he will get those invoices out to you ASAP. Yay! Yeah, I'm pretty hyped up, so I think I'll be up to uh, do them all. And anybody else, let me know about a lock of hair. And yeah, see, Eric Lee even said warehouse sales are cool. So we should, yeah, plan on doing something after the new year or some kind of. Yeah, let's sale. do it in January. Yay. Yep. Happy New I'd Year. I'd love to. And like Ilya just said, everybody who bought was a winner tonight. So there you go. Absolutely. All right, everybody. We sincerely appreciate it. Thank you for hanging with us for a little overtime here, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, Anthony and Sharon, always a great time. Yay. Happy holidays. We'll see you next Wednesday for a regular show, right? Yes.